but yeah i i have tried some uh i've tried some pack opening product opening videos and you know what i i just realized i was just like yeah we'll open this pack and see what's inside everybody does it the same way they they do it the same way it's the same show and you know what i said you know what i said how do we do it the cgb way and i looked at basically what i do for a living which is net deck and steal other people's ideas make videos of them and then share them with you guys in best of one as if that's somehow a huge accomplishment and i said you know what that's what i've got to do i have to do the same thing but with pack openings i have to basically what i have to do is i have to do the same thing everybody else does and i just got to do it harder and more so that's what we're gonna do we're not opening a box we're not opening two boxes in one sitting in this stream i am opening six of these expensive mofos six boxes and we're gonna see just what awaits inside the most epic box opening show you've ever seen. That's content. All right. Hey, Floyd, thank you so much for the sub. So, guys, I have specifically hidden myself away. I have made sure not to look very closely at what the heck is in these boxes. I don't know what the most valuable cards are. I know I barely know what any of the cards are. I'm going to be relying on you guys to look to, to find the prices. Let me know if something's worth a lot, okay? I'm going to need your help. I can't do it alone. So let's get into the show. Quality. Yeah, that's, that's looking good right there. You guys see anything wrong with this camera? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Epic. You want you want some CGB behind the scenes right now, guys? You can have just a little. Are you ready? True story. My camera and my camera stand fell over during just while the intro was playing here for the stream. Broke them both. <laughs> Good show, man. But the show goes on. So new camera stand assembled. And you, what you are seeing is actually my iPhone is uh, my iPhone is uh, your current camera quality here. Let's get right into it. Timon, thank you very much for the tier one. Let me get a window up here for what's a good uh, look it up pricing site. I guess Scryfall is fine. Give me, oh, got my trash bucket over here. Actually, you know what? Oh, we're gonna make a big old pile of booster pack wrappers. People have to know. So you got, can you guys hear me okay? Is the mic still in a fine spot? I'm sure it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at these beasts. Pack number one. Can't wait to see how these look on the iPhone camera. Kind of curious, to be honest. Also, I just want to say in advance, thanks to the fans. Cool stuff being my sponsor as well. 
but a big thanks to all the fans. You guys make this possible. No pack counter? What the heck is that? You think I, you think I sit around watching people open packs? I have better things to do. Where did you buy this pack? Coolstuffinc.com. It's, it's on the screen. It's on the screen. It'd be kind of silly if I didn't. All right. I don't even know what a lot of these do, but if they're common, I probably don't care, right? Ooh, empty the warrants. I remember this card. I lost to this card. May have even played it once. Destroy a non-black creature with madness. Meh. Green seeker. Discard a card. Search your library for a land. Reveal it. I've got to get to know the commons a little bit. I don't care that much. Just a little. Search for tomorrow. Search for a basic land. Put it onto the battlefield. Suspend. Yeah. Do people play this? Let me know if there's a card I should definitely be adding to my, like, commander decks. A sliver. Slivers. Gothen Raiders. 3-3 three, three, Hellbent. Blah, blah. I think I remember this card. Psychic Episode. One black black. Reveal their hand. Top card of their library. Choose a card. Reveal. Puts it on the bottom lame macoderm i i'm gonna go faster i just have this is the first one i've opened i promise more sliver stuff salt gargoyle we got echo whole bunch of old mechanics coming back but i think we're closing in on our first rare are you ready stuffy doll stuffy doll i doubt that's worth anything but there are combos you can do with this it's indestructible. When it enters the battlefield, choose a player. All damage dealt to it gets dealt to that player. It's like the original Brash Taunter. What, eight bucks? No. Really? We got a baller over here. Next up, we've got Consuming Aberration. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure this is a good commander card. Pretty sure this one gets unleashed on me pretty often. Three blue black power and toughness equal the number of cards in graveyards when you cast a spell reveal cards from the top of the library until they hit a land put the rest in the graveyard yeah this card is like crazy in commander right it's like absolutely crazy in commander and we get a knight token all right gotta figure out how i'm gonna stack stuff up over here let's see let's see this is my black what you don't see down here is green. This is white. So where's my artifacts? I guess my artifacts will be... Yeah, I usually just put them up here in this row. All right. <clears throat> I remember Stuffy Doll when that was new. Flivers. Good old Grape Shot. I remember getting killed by Grape Shot. Grave Scabbler. More Madness cards. Orcish Cannonade, two damage to any target, three damage to you. Draw a card. How that? Really? They put card draw on a red card. Disgusting. Chromatic Star. I have one of those. Fortify. The Mentor. Good old Lanoir Elves. It makes Lanoir Elves. That's kind of cool. Let's keep one of those around for our commander. Urza's Factory. Seven. Create an Assembly Worker. Yeah, I'll keep one of those around. Time Bender, Morph. I don't like Morph cards. Just gonna say, I don't like playing Morph cards. Oh. Lagstones of Trocare. This is a legendary land that's actually really popular in modern right now. When it taps for a white, legendary, when you put it into a graveyard, you may search your library for a plains card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, shuffle your library. That's a pretty cool card. What's that one? Is that one worth something? Chat, help. Or I'll have to look it up myself. Time Spiral. $3.80, guys. Nice to know we're already rich. Time Shifted, Tide Hollow, Sculler, Black, White, 2-2, two -two, Zombie. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand, choose a non-land card from an exile that card. When it leaves the battlefield, return it. It's like a pretty... Hyped Kite Sail Freebooter, isn't it? It's a pretty hyped Kite Sail Freebooter right there. And then we got a, a token. 
Next up. Alright, looking for sweet stuff. Here we go. What is this? Sudden spoiling. Split second. The uber fast card. Until end of turn, creatures target player controls lose all abilities and have base power and toughness 0-2. What? It's like a really whack fog, bro. What the heck is this? And we get a Cloud Shredder Sliver. Red, white. Creatures have... Flying slivers have flying and haste. You get two abilities from Boros Sliver here. It's pretty exciting. And we got a foil reckless worm. Let's see, put those here. I've got kind of a edge on my table, so I gotta move that. Two dollars there. All right, guys. Where's where's the where's the monies I was promised? Piracy charm. I like it. Rift bolt. Good old burn the face. Stone cloaker. Flash enters the battlefield. Return creature to its owner's hand. When it enters the battlefield, exile. What? I mean, okay, but Yorian guys, come on. Another sliver. Jeez, there's just gonna be a sliver in every pack, right? Just slivers, endless slivers. I I find slivers annoying, I don't know about you guys. Oh, what's this? Joira of the Gitu? One blue and a red. Two, two. Legendary creature, human wizard, rare. Exile a non-land card from your hand. Put four time counters on the exile card. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. I mean, I like the haircut. It's a lot of hair. That card seems kind of meh. Like, what do we want to suspend? Doesn't seem too exciting to me. What's that say? 19 cents? Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh, look at this. Eternal Witness. I actually don't have an Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness in the old frame. Oh, that goes in every deck. That goes in every deck, baby. Every green deck. Every single Commander green deck gets this baby. I love it. Unless I open a foil. That's the only thing that's going to get Eternal Witness off of here. Magus of the Moon. Two in a red for a 2-2 two -two human wizard. What rarity is that? Foil. Non-basic lands are mountains. Is that a rare? It's like kind of hard to see. It's a rare? How much is that one? Magus of the Moon. Time Spiral Remastered. Foil $10. Guys. We opened a frickin' Hamilton. It's a good warm-up. It's a good warm-up. Had to open a Hamilton, baby. Dread Return, the banned card. I wonder if they'll unban it now that hogak has gone. Arcfiend of Ukor. Tasty, echoey thing, nah. Rare, Rada, heir to Keld. Is this the first Rada? Red in a green elf warrior. When it attacks, you may add red, red, tap for green. I mean, that's an elf that kicks out some mana. I don't know if it's good. It's an interesting card. Repeal. I remember repeal. Re return target non-land permanent with converted mana cost X. To its owner's hand, draw a card. I do love repeal. 
and in the old frame, I'm gonna play this in something. That's a that's a that's a good blue card. Will you tired after six packs? Shut up. Never been tired in my life. More slivers, more slivers, more slivers, more slivers, more slivers. Aha! We're gonna tithe some people in historics pretty soon. But there you go. Let's keep one of those. Why no mythics in this dojo? I, I'm working on it. Bros. Bros, don't, don't get impatient with me. Tendrils of Corruption. That's a card that I love. That's a duels throwback to the duels crew. Careful consideration. Instant. Target player draws four cards, then discards three. Yeah, I, okay, whatever. Prodigal Pyromancer. Nightshade Assassin. Boom and bust. The heck is this? Destroy target land. You control and target land you don't control and destroy all lands. A land destruction card. Let's do it. Let's boom and bust, baby. Old framed ancient stirrings. Do we have any, uh, got any amulet titan players in the house? Wolf's Bane, thank you very much for the prime. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. That's like a dollar. <gasps> Yay! Poggy's dollar. Don't worry, guys. Long way to go. Lots of broken cards yet to see. Whoa, look. A Lanor Elf token. We should just be able to put this in our deck as a full art Lanor Elf. Ancient Grudge. That's a good quality magic card. Health deform pools. Put a storage counter. Make white or blue mana. Hell yeah. Let's go. Pros and grip. Coming soon to historic. Coming soon to historic. Split second blows stuff up. Bonded fetch. O2. Defender with haste. Draw and discard. Lame. Slivers! Frickin' everything's freaking slivers, you guys. Everything is slivers. All sliver creatures get plus one, plus one for each other sliver on the battlefield. Wooberg for a 7-7. Seven, seven. Wait, how much is this? Wait, how much? It's not a foil. How much do they... Do, what? No way. Are, are the sliver kids that into this card? What? $55.87 it says. Excuse me? Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, we popped our first dollar. We popped our first dollar dollars. So we need the sleeves. We need to sleeve the dollar before the dollar becomes the damaged. Maybe pre TSR. No! No, no, not even. Don't you mess with me. Don't you guys mess with me, nerds. There we go. Double sleeved. Boom. Safe. Safe from all your grubby fingers. And the last card is a time shifted laboratory maniac, which is awesome because I needed this as a backup wing con to my Thassa's Oracle. So. Hype for a time shifted lab man. <laughs> oh, that was a fun pack. I like $50 bills. Let's see if we can open another. Oh, uh, thank you very much. I'm Booster Gold for the Prime. Solids. Lost Oromancers, Banishing Three, sounds lame. Angel of Salvation, guys, we got an angel. This is a six white white, that's a 
pricey freaking angel. Flash, Convoke, so you can tap creatures to pay for it. 5-5, five, five, Flying. When it enters the battlefield, prevent the next five damage that would be dealt this turn to any number of targets. I think this card's kind of lame. It's cool. Very limited. Kind of lame. Goblin Engineer. One in a red. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact. Put it into your graveyard. Sacrifice an artifact. Return target artifact with converted mana cost three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. With the throwback frame. I think this was a Modern Horizons card, right? And people were trying to figure out how to break this. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad I opened a goblin. Next up. We got a spider token. Got some nonsense here. Good old nonsense. Delonite Hermit. Three and a green for a 1-1. One, one. All sapperlings get plus one, plus one. More five mana. When it is turned face up, create four sapperlings. So if you play this on four, no. If you morph it on five, you get a 1-1 one, one and four two twos. And it's an elf. The ninja with the tier one. Thank you, dude. Love to see some paper cards. Hell yeah. Streamer shout out to the ninja. Doing it, doing your thing. Elite, thank you for the prime. I mean, this is okay. Oh, there's a card. Oh, there's a card. That is an old frame sanguine blood. The commander players are dancing. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Dude, the life gain gamers love this card. Love this card. Love it. Like, these are the kind of cards I think are crap. And then I look them up and I'm like, oh my gosh. That's worth way more than it should have been. Why can't I find it on the interwebs? Did I spell sanguine? Sanguine bond. Oh, that's why. Because it's not blood. It's bond. B-O-N-D. That's why. Two dollars and fifty cents? I told you guys. Worth way more than it deserves to be. Worth way more than it should be. Two dollars and fifty cents. Incredible. And then our foil. We have our Rothy Trapper at common. <laughs> it's worth at least ten times what it should be worth, guys. Does same thing as Vito? No, it goes infinite with Vito, right? Because... Let's see, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life? Okay, I guess not. <laughs> it doesn't. There's probably some way to go infinite. Clockwork Hydra. Stalt Blast. Destroy target non-white permanent for five mana. Guys, the removal white has been looking for. I just like that Salt Blast is a card. I just want to blast my opponents with salt, you know. Scrib Ranger. One green, one one, flying protection from blue arena. Turn a forest to its owner's hand, untapped target creature once each turn. I remember this card. This card wasn't that bad. I'm going to keep one around. More slivers! Sedge Sliver. Two red, two two. All slivers have. This creature gets plus one, plus one. As long as you control a swamp, it turns every sliver into a sweat. A Sedge Troll. You guys remember Sedge Troll? I nobody remembers Sedge Troll. <laughs> Our old frame card is the zombie fish itself, your mog angler. This is a dredge. Basically, it's one black for a 5-5 five, five vanilla. That's that's what it is. It's got delve. So you exile cards from your graveyard to cast it. It's a very, very thick card. Very thick card. The zombo fish. At its absolute finest. Moving on. Oh, 
fungal reaches. So this is a storage counter land in red and green. Okay. What's that? Has anybody ever seen one of these before? We have a hit? What? We got a we got a hit? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? Old frame damnation? Is that a is that a card? The mono black wrath of God. Twenty-seven dollars and sixty-three cents. Not time shifted. Wait, how do you see the difference or something? Looks. I mean, I guess. Okay, it's not the old, old OG frame. I, I get. I, I get what you're saying. I think. I think I get what you're saying. All right. And then we have this card. Arcades the Strategist, printed in the old time shifted frame. So, hey, commanders, do you like walls? You like walls, commanders? You into you into a little three five guys. It says draw a card on it. It must be broken. It must be broken. <laughs> oh, that's a card I should do some historic brawl with while I can. All right, big booty dragon. Sleeve up, buddy. You're worth, like, over 20 bucks. I've got a special binder for the $20 cards. Right this way. You don't have to mingle with all the peasants. You don't have to play around with nerds like Arcades. Right this way, buddy. $150. What is? Not Arcades. I don't know. Do people love walls that much? No way. No way. $3.85. That, that makes a bit more sense. I love you guys just spamming dollar values in chat. <laughs> a masterpiece damnation is 150. We'll work on it, okay? We'll work on it. Dead gone. Two damage to any target for one. Wait, to target creature. And then three, return target creature you don't control to owner's hand. What? Return target creature you don't control to its owner's hand. An instant in red? That's a blue ability. WTF? Okay. Prismatic Lens. Doesn't say draw a card on it. Kind of a lame card. What the heck is this? Hit this, this. Three and black, 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 black. Sorcery. Destroy target creature. Its controller loses life equal to its toughness. Suspend. It's pretty lame. Stone Entity. Lame. Rebuff the Wicked. Counter target spell that targets a permanent you control. White counter magic? White counter spells. Keeps. Aeon Chronicler. Three blue blue star star. Aeon Chronicler's power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your hand. Suspend, blah blah blah. X can't be zero. Whenever a time counter is removed from Aeon Chronicler while it's exiled, draw a card. Is this like the original Kazmina? Never heard of this card. Anybody want an Aeon Chronicler? What's that worth? Price. Literal sense. Actual, not even a dollar in any printing. Nice. Felden of the Third Path. One red, red, two, three, human artificer. Tap two and a red, create a token that's a copy of target creature in your graveyard, except it's an artifact. In addition to its other types, it gains haste. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. I mean, frame's cool. I, okay. Great. Seems, seems medium. Seems like lightning bolt bait. Moving right. I've got a few million packs to get through. We've got to like speed run, don't we? I'm like an hour into my stream. I'm opening six boxes today. We got to, we got to double down. We got to, 
Ignore all these cards. I got no time to read any of this. We gotta get right to it. Pact of the Titan. Zero mana. Make a 4-4 red giant token. I remember this. Pay four in the red if you don't lose the game. Woo! Liquor Wisp. There you go. That's going into Yorian. Time shifted. And an uncommon foil Stormfront Raiders that I don't think anybody cares about. Comedy Whoop, thank you very much for the Prime. Don't know what that is. Mangara of Corondor. One white, white, one, one. Exile Mangara and target permanent. What a ridiculous card this would be for a commander. Time shifted card. Ooh, that's how I like to exile permanents. There you go. It's the path, baby. Stay on the path. How much is that one? Like a 10, that's a Hamilton? We open the Hamilton? Let's go. We'll work on the foil, okay? We'll work on the foil. That's a that's Gandalf. Gandalf is back on the menu. Kayo D, D thank you very much for the sub. Hey, think twice. There's a baller card. I, I showed you all on YouTube how to make Think Twice a lethal card. You're welcome. Uh, the Molten Slag Heap. That's a charge land for black and red. Protection from green. That's kind of a weird card. It is a rogue. I don't know. Maybe I play that in rogues. Cloud Key. As Cloud Key enters the battlefield, choose artifact, creature, enchantment, instant, or sorcery spells. You cast of the chosen type cost one less for three. Meh. Meh. Sounds like a meh. Five to six bucks. Oh, this card. I played this card in frickin' standard, baby. Lady Lavinius with the raid. Guys, defend the land. I'm gonna just be looking up the price of my time-shifting kiki-jiki mirror breaker. Yeah. What we got here? What we got here? $15.87. If I got a foil one, it would be $193.87. <laughs> that is insane. All right, you, you get sleeved. You don't have to touch the others. You're a special boy. Now I can finally play Commander with Kiki Jiki. Lady Lavinius, thank you very much. Lady Lavinius, I don't know. I, I can't see any harm in telling the people this contacted me to let me know that the wizard site had my uh, preview card date as April 1st. She was very hyped about it, and then so was I. And then they contacted me and told me that was wrong. <laughs> and I revealed my card today. Sleeve the key? It's like five bucks. Dude, we sleeve Hamiltons or more. <laughs> we sleeve Hamiltons or more here. Alright? We, we don't have... We don't have small goals. We go hard. Life and limb, three and a green. All forest and all sapperlings are one one green sapperling creatures. Forest lands in addition to other types. Does anybody care about this? Anybody want some life and limb? That, that seems like a pretty mad card. Now that's a pretty card. That brings back memories right there. That is a lovely card. Ponder. Ooh. I think I read something about that pre-selling for a lot. I'm looking it up real quick. 20? No. No, 2150. Oh, gamers. Okay, we gotta reveal the last card, which is a gem hide sliver. Who cares? 2150 for Ponder? People love these, like, chase cards. Foil. Oh, how much is the foil one? $388.40. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's go. We got six boxes. I'm excited to open these cards. I'm excited to open these cards now. We 
return to dust. Exile an artifact or enchantment at instant speed. If you cast it during the main phase, exile another. If somebody uses this in my commander group, I'll keep it around. Harmonic Sliver. Does sliver things. Imperious Sword. Two green green five five. Spend only mana produced by basic lands to cast it. God, back when we had to give a drawback to our four mana five fives. Let's compare this to Lovestruck Beast. Benelish Commander, three and a white for a star star. Power and toughness equal to the number of soldiers. Suspend with an X can be zero. So it's like the blue one. I imagine it's probably just an okay card. All right, guys, ready for the time shifted card? Ethereal Armor, plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control and for a strike. Nice. I mean, there are aura decks that love that card. How do you catalog your cards? Deep question. Deep question. Wait, what? Does that say $20? What the heck is with these cards? I gotta sell these fast before people remember that they're just, you know, different prints of the same stuff. Time Spiral Remastered. Oh, 85 cents. The foil is $20. Okay, my bad. I, get, I, I see numbers I get excited, okay, guys? Okay? Okay? I see numbers. I pog out of my mind. I like opening expensive cards. Do you like opening expensive cards? I'm kind of addicted to it. Destroy target non-black creature that entered the battlefield since your last turn ended. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there's a pack for you. Oh, there's a pack. There's a pact. A nice pack. A nice pact. Pact of negation. That that's gotta be like something, right? Trinket mage. Does anybody care about a trinket mage? Would you rather have an unopened Alpha Pack or a Yacht Yorian? I'd rather have a Black Lotus, since we're just naming things. Pact of Negation is worth $18.46. Let's get some protection on you, little guy. Come on in. Join the elite. Join the family. Have we broken even yet? I doubt it. Diego, thank you very much for the prime. I gotta start. Alright, guys, very important. We gotta move the pile of debris where people can see it. <laughs> for more lols because we're gonna build a huge freaking pile in that corner what don't look at that look shiny too oh my gosh looked shiny angel's grace one in a white split second you can't lose the game this turn your opponents can't win the game this turn this is a combo with tendrils of agony right like this is a play this is this card is a combo card in modern, right? Pretty cool. Lavinia, Azorius Renegade. The card that broke the cascade event on MTG Arena. And then we have Jaya Ballard Task Mage. This is a foil rare human spell shaper. Discard a card, destroy target blue permanent. Discard a card, three damage to any target. Can't regenerate. Seven mana discard, six damage to each creature in each player. Eh. Seems meh. Probably not worth much. I'm guessing not too much. <laughs> Moving right along. But it is, it is a pretty Jaya. Let's devour Stormcloud Jajajin. Miri the Cursed. Look at that cat demon. What the heck? Flying first strike haste 3 2. Whenever it deals combat damage to a creature, put a plus one plus one counter on Miri the Cursed. The heck is this card? Thanks, Garbage Andy. 
Content creator shout out. I'm shifty. Ooh, ah. I still have a ton of other taskers. Here's Tasker the Golden Fang. In the old art. I like Tasker, but I remember Tasker's value went way down. So I'm not optimistic that's worth a ton. It's very pretty, though. I can sell my other foil taskers now. Here's a sweet commander. I need to make a tasker deck. That That's right up my alley. Drowlunu Lichlord. Thank you, Garbage Andy, for the sub. Three and a blue black, three three zombie wizard. If damage would be dealt to the Lich Lord, sacrifice that many permanents instead. It's a Phyrexian Negator that can be your commander. Target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. Flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. So if I cast a Star of Extinction, like the table dies, doesn't it? That card is, that's a sweet commander card. All right. Time shifted Trigon Predator. I remember this, when it hits the opponent, you get to disenchant something. I remember this card. And then Knight of Circe, which is basically a common in foil. Sliver, a grape shot. Oh, ho. I know this one. This is a mana cheater. If Gemstone Caverns is in your opening hand and you're not the starting player, you may begin the game with Gemstone Caverns on the battlefield with a luck counter on it. If you do, exile a card from your hand. Basically, you get to play a land. You just get to cheat a land. Uh, tap for colorless. If it has a luck counter on it, add one mana of any color instead. <laughs> this is a really, this is a really silly card, man. Gemstone Caverns is a really silly card, but it is a way to go second and not lose the game. Strive, thank you very much. Uh, let's let's look this one up. Time spiraling master, twenty nine dollars, twenty nine dollars. All right, let's let's see our time shifted card first. Ready? Past in flames. This is from Modern Horizons, right? Each instant or sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback. Flashback four in a red. This card is. Let's see, this card is playable in modern, right? Guess it's not worth too much. Oh well. Sleeve up the caverns. That's a caverns is a freaking good one, guys. That is a that's an exciting one. Too close. Swarm yard. Tap for a colorless. Regenerate target insect, rat, spider, or squirrel. The hell is this? And how do you put squirrels in with rats, insects, and spiders? Squirrels are majestic, beautiful creatures. That's that's lame. Time of Need, I remember this. Search your library for a legendary creature card, reveal it, put into your hand for one in a green. That is really cool with the time shifted border. Man, that takes me back. Tromp the Domains. Common, just, just kind of an uncommon nonsense card. Is there a time shifted rare? 
Is there a time shifted foil in every box? Does anybody know? Care Keep. Tap for a colorless legendary land. One in red, create a zero one red cobalt creature token. Yeah, cobalts, baby. Co. cobalt. Ah, the Twitch chat card. Silence! Welcome to emote only chat. Your opponents can't cast spells this turn. Instant. It's a card. It's a card. You know, I opened a lot, and I mean a lot of Ikoria. Never got a Winota. Not even one. Lame. Got scammed. Street Wraith. Good old Street Wraith. Cycling, pay two life. I guess I keep that around for Death Shadow. It's water packed, guys. Zero mana, destroy target creature. Good rate. You have to pay two black, though, on the next upkeep or you lose the game. What are the different piles colors? Good old classic Beast Whisperer. Coalition Relic. Add a man of any color. Put a charge counter on the relic. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all counters. Add one mana for each charge counter removed this way. Sounds like an awkward ramp card. Blighted Woodland. I remember this card. Tap for a colorless or sacrifice it and pay four to search for two basic lands. Put them onto the battlefield. It's good with Omnath. That's about all you need to know. Okay, so a time spiral foil thought sees is worth how much? $548. All right, easy. I'm sure that's the next card. I'm sure that's the next card. How long are we? We're still in box number one. I may, even, I may not know what I signed up for, to be honest. I'm going to keep this Yavimaya Druid around. I like that in some decks. Plumonic Sliver, three white, white, three, three. Slivers have flying, slivers have. If a permanent would be put into a graveyard, you may put it on top of the library. Whatever, I hate slivers. Somebody want to pay a lot for that? Defire, thank you for the prime. Renzo Dungeon Warden is our time shifted card. This is a Goblin Rogue. It's got X in it. Enters the battlefield with X counters. Put the bottom card of your library into your graveyard. If it's a creature card with power less than or equal to it, put it onto the battlefield? This card is weird. Anybody want this card? Is this card popular? Foil Fathom Seer. Oh yeah, we're going hard. The plan is to open all the boxes. I might be here all night. I might be here all night. Not gonna lie. That's why we gotta speed it up. Uh, I do need one of these reefs around. So, what is that, blue? Walk the Aeons. Four blue, blue, buyback, sacrifice three islands. Target player takes an extra turn! Extra turn cards? Ugh. Oh, that's a pretty card. That's a pretty card. I remember Courser. Anybody have some good Courser of Crufix memories? I always wanted one of these. That's exciting. 
That's exciting. I don't care how much it's worth. This is one I'm looking forward to actually playing with. I I'm guessing it's worth like five bucks. Jabberwock, thank you very much for the 10 months. Appreciate you. Yeah, Corsair of Crufix lets you play lands from the top of your library, like Rada, but you gain one life whenever you play a land. And you have to play with the top card of your library revealed. Where do you sell your cards? Wherever. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. My wife is possibly making it more of like a, a job to get these cards sold. Greater Gargadon. Oh, I remember you. 9 red, 9 7, suspend 10, sacrifice an artifact creature or land, remove a time counter from it, activate this ability only if it's suspended. Anybody pumped for some Greater Gargadon shenanigans once again? You can just have a 1 mana 9 7 if you just, you know, somehow have. 10 permanents to sacrifice. LOL. Vandal Blast. Destroy target artifact you don't control with Overload, which then destroys all artifacts. And the foil. Oh my god. Venser. Shaper Savant. Foil. Two blue blue, two two flash. I always wanted one of these. When Venser enters the battlefield, return target spell or permanent to its owner's hand. Oh, I wanted one of those. Are they saying for this? $8? It's worth more than that to me. I'm going to put that in a lot of blue decks. Oh, you like Pringles? It's a... I guess it's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, it's, uh, it's already Pringling straight out of the box. There you go. There you can tell. <laughs> Pringling straight out the box, guys. All part of the new opening magic cards experience that you can look forward to. Hmm. Also, when they Pringle, the sleeves don't always fit, which is a bit frustrating. There we go. Good to see phone books still have a use. <laughs> nice one. Yep, that's how we get them flattened. Restore. Whoa, restore balance? Each player chooses the number of lands they control equal to the number of lands controlled by the player who controls the fewest, sacrifices the rest. Same for creatures and discard cards the same way. Good old balance, guys. But it's restore balance. Funky text. Is that something people are after? I, I think that there's still a modern deck built around this. It's an exciting card. I don't know what it's worth. I'm gonna have to look it up. It's a mythic according to this. A dollar and twenty cent mythic. That's okay, because our time shifted card is blue. Burl. Chief of Compliance. I just built a historic brawl deck around this. Storm Superstar. Barl. hate that guy. Oh yeah, just just another card for humans to complain about. They want six dollars for this. Wasn't it banned in Commander? It was banned in Brawl originally. Like, when Brawl first came out on Magic Online only, wasn't even on Arena, they banned it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna open from the back, I think. Or no. Ah. I don't know. Yeah, let's just flip them from the back. A foil, Dirkwood Veiloth. A time shifted manifold key. 
Hmm. I'm sure that's just okay. And a Nether Trader, black, black, a spirit with shadow. Whenever another creature is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may pay black. If you do, return the trader from the graveyard to the battlefield. That sounds like a very meh card. Maybe I'm wrong. Sounds super meh. Wait, what? Oh, Fire Maw Kabu. I was like, Flame Tongue Kabu. That would be an OG. Play Flip It or Rip It. I don't even know what that is. Don't know what you're talking about there. Token. All right, here we go. Teamer Battle Rage. In the old frame. So many, like, time-shifted red cards. Don't they know who I am? This is a Dryad Arbor. You guys remember Dryad Arbor? It's the card that's a 1-1 creature, but also a forest. And if you just kind of hide it with your lands and then pull it out of nowhere to ninja block something, the internet goes insane. Yeah, it's all right. Eight bucks. Peter says eight dollar. I'll take it. Guys, we have not opened a foil time shifted rare in this pack, in this box, and there are three packs left. Read the bones. Okay, fine. I will. Draining Welk. Shout out to the Dodge and Burn Duels crew. We got a Mystical Teachings in the Uncommon slot. That's pretty sweet. Search your library for an instant with, or a creature card with flash. Reveal it. That takes me back. I remember a Mystical Teachings deck. I've been watching so many of your videos. Amazing content and very witty. Thank you, Faded Assassin. You forgot to mention the smug, punchable face that my haters love so much. But I appreciate you. Here we go. It's the Crystal Shard. I'm I'm reading a book, like an Icewind Dale book about a Crystal Shard. Three, and tap, or a blue, return target creature to owner's hand unless they pay one. It's kind of out of date these days, isn't it? Why would I do that when I can your again? Whoa! It's not Ancestral Recall, but it's about as close as we're ever going to get. That is Ancestral Vision. How much do people pay for an Ancestral Vision these days, guys? Look it up, look it up. It's a mythic. It should be a billion dollars. Five dollars. You're telling me five dollars for a card that says draw three cards for one blue on it? What happened to Magic the Gathering? What happened to our formats? What a disaster. Is delay good? Do people want delay? I, I figured delay was a medium card, right? There's gotta be better options. Chat says delay is great. I mean, I know it's blue. Of course it's great. All right. People want delay. There's delay. Where'd I put it? Lost it. Already lost it. Delay. A dollar and 30s. You've got me going back in here for a dollar. Nerds, man. Nerds. Guys. Guys. If I actually cared about finding a dollar, I would. All right. Here we go.
cutthroat. Sacrifice deck is excited. Villain of Haver Havenwood. Green green for a 2-2. Two -two. Each fungus creature gets plus one plus one for each spore counter. Exile a fungus card from a graveyard for a spore counter. Who cares? Who cares? Nobody cares. Fungus. Lame. Okay, do I have to keep Conflagrate around because somebody plays Dredge somewhere? Fine, I will. Silly chat. How about Smallpox? Let's keep Smallpox around. That's an that's an old that's an OG card. Nothing like a little smallpox to make the table angry. All right, last pack of the box. But don't worry, we've got three more boxes. Not, no, I'm sorry, we have five more boxes. <laughs> Riffling Cloudscape. Suspend, blah, 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 return a permanent. It's a foil, I don't think that matters. Time shifted. Stinkweed Imp, the Dredge Superstar. Stinkweed Imp, very nice. Look at the classic throwback tombstone in the corner for the Dredge cards. And the last rare. Summoner's Pact. We hit every pact except for white. Search your library for a green creature card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. At the beginning of your next upkeep, pay two green green. If you don't lose, you lose the game. Yeah, no foil in this box. Uh, no foil time shifted card, that is. That's okay. We'll just save it up for later. We'll just save it up for the next one. Let's revisit our first box here. What are the hits? What are the big winners? We got Gemstone Cavern. Gemstone Caverns is a sweet one. Let's see, where am I gonna put the stacks of cards? I guess over here. The Dryad Arbor and the Corsair of Crufix, I'm actually excited about. I'm sure we'll get more, but I'm excited to own those at long last. Actually, this Eternal Witness, I'm pretty excited about as well. That's a good one for me. Kiki Jiki. We got a foil Magus of the Moon, too. Damn Nation. Damn the nation! Something like that. It's probably a funny way to say it if I concentrate. How about blue? How about blue? Venter. Foil. Pact of Negation. Ponder. Oh yeah, they know me. In white. Sliver Legion. Which is apparently... There's some nerds out there who just, just want to sliver so hard, you know? They just want to hit you with the slivers. Now it's time for the next one. Now that I've gotten my feet wet, we've seen a lot of the rares. We've seen all the commons and uncommons, probably. You're gonna have to get a move on. No foil yet on the time shifted card. That is correct. First pack. Foil copy of Enslave. Meh. Time shifted card. Beast Within. 
Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. I did not own one of these. Each land is a swamp in addition to other types. That is a pretty one. 13 bucks? Yeah, come here. Come here, get away from the... Stop touching the others. You're special. You're special. You don't have to touch those other cards anymore. 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 You're special. There we go. There we go. Go hang out with Damnation. You two can talk about the good old days. Simeon Spirit Guide. <laughs> Aren't you banned now? Whatever. Contagion Clasp. Two mana artifact enters the battlefield, put a counter on target creature for liberate. The heck is this? What the heck is this card? Where'd this card come from? Lame. Living End. Another suspend card that you cheat and you bring a whole bunch of stuff back. I, I know there's a deck in modern for that, but judging by the other mythics we've hit so far, it's probably not worth anything, is it? Five dollar. All right. Yeah, we don't we don't get sleeve excited about five dollar. It's ten dollars, like minimum buy-in to get me hyped. We're we're serious spikes in this dojo. Alesha who smiles at death. Probably a meh. I remember that card, it's just okay. Muraganda Petroglyphs. Three and a green. Creatures with no abilities gain plus two plus two. A bit of an a bit of a sage. A bit of a sage pack. I bet some people want the uh, Street Wraiths, though. Street Wraith, still making Death Shadow fans just swoon. Double Sleeve the Magus? I thought we looked up the Magus and it wasn't 10 bucks. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Time shifted true name nemesis. One blue blue merfolk rogue. When it enters the battlefield, choose a player. True name nemesis has protection from the chosen player. We got some pogs in chat for that one. True name nemesis. Do you know what nemesis might? Nine dollars and eighty-seven cents. Almost enough to get hyped about. Almost enough. Sengur Nosferatu. Three black black four four flying. Exile this. Create a one two bat thing as sacrifice it. Return it. Nah, sounds complicated. There's your foil time shifted card. I believe I saw this earlier, $20. There is our first foily time shifty card. I think it was a $20 one. Not one of the finest hits, but I'll take it. Pretty. Pretty card. Next up. We got a time shifted field of ruin looking classic up in here. 
the rare. Magus of the future. Two and a blue, 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 human wizard, two, three. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. All right. All right. These are the first. Hey, thank you. Welcome, Arjuna. My co-host of the Arena Craft Podcast. Check it out. Got a special reveal. Something coming up. At the end of this episode, we're going to unleash our first recorded video recorded episode of the arena craft podcast on my youtube channel is there the first thank you very much for the primes that's going live right at the end of the show we got a token we've got an ivory giant yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, baby. Somebody want this? Somebody want to? Somebody want to? <laughs> it's not foil. No, it's not foil. It's not foil. What do you say? $38? All right. Well, you're going to stop touching other cards right now. Right now. Look at that. Woo! All right, there's our first Thoughtseize of the day. Hedge Sliver. I know a lot of these prices off the top of my head because I opened two boxes recently, so prices are fresh. Oh, I'm trusting you. You seem to know your thing. You're quicker than the card lookup. May have changed in a few days. Fair enough. I'll look it up if it's close. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> Two dollar. Two dollar coming through. Classic beast. Hive stone. Creatures you control are slivered. What is up with people in slivers? Freaking every pack has like 15 cards in it that all have to do is slivers. Just draft slivers. They, they made this draft format. Just draft slivers. Why would you draft something that's not a sliver? Losers. Slivers rule. Okay, people actually like slivers. I think they're so lame. I'm li All right, don't viewership numbers are dropping. Uh, slivers are great. Have fun. Have fun with your slivers, people. Classic old school frame ley line of the void. Oh, that's a fun one. I think some people would be excited about a ley line of the void in a very pretty frame. Yes, yes. That is, that is, that is gorge. Is this thing gonna, sh gonna focus or do I just gotta do like this? Take that, Luris. All right, let's uh, look it up. I don't think Peter is sure about pricing. Main line of the Voida. $12.21, ladies and gentlemen. It is a Hamilton and a little more. Let's get you into the sleeve. Let's get you protected. There we go. The rare of the pack. Another act of the Titan. What's CGB's total? A billion dollars. Cards are prettier in paper, who knew? Dude, you just you just can't capture the gorgeousness of magic cards on digital. Never have, never will. Rakdos Charm. Excel all cards from target player's graveyard. Destroy target artifact. Each creature deals one damage to its controller. 80 cents. 
baller. Another Thalon. All right. I mean, we were we were due for a bit of a a bit of a poopy. What what do we call a bad pack, guys? What does the dojo call a bad pack? A wimpy pack? It's a wimpy pack. It's a limp pack. <laughs> we call it a croquis pack. <laughs> no, that's oh my god, that's not that's rude. You, you, rude not here, you know. <laughs> it's rude. <laughs> that's actually rude. You guys are rude. You guys are rude. I'm totally not doing that at all. <laughs> Harvester of Souls. Six mana for a 5-5 death touch. When a non-token creature dies, you may draw a card. It's an expensive Midnight Reaper. Not very excited about that one. Ma regular Magus of the Moon. Non-basic lands are mountains. Harmonize. Just draw three. I'll keep one of those. When I play green, I like to pretend I'm playing blue. Hmm. All right, here we go. Ninja. Ninja of the Deep Hours. Kamigawa Classic. I doubt anybody actually wants it, though. All right, rare. If High Arcanist, five and a white blue, that's a pricey human wizard. Vigilance, three, five. To spend for blue and a white, untap target attacking creature, prevent all damage. Oh, it's a maze of if on a creature with suspend. What is it? Oh my god, what is this? It's like 13 cents. <laughs> I, I love the OMG. Well, that's a, that's a Gandalf pull. That's quite the rare. All right. All right, guys. We busted out the poopy packs here. <laughs> you guys are so rude. I don't know if I'm supposed to embrace the meme or not. It's the Crokey's pack. The poopy croquis. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> you had started it. I did not start this, Tara. I did not start this. All right. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when you start talking about other content creators like that in your chat when they're not here. It angers the gods. It angers the gods. And stuff gets exiled, okay? The pretty anger of the gods. Glittering Wish. Green and white. You may reveal a multicolored card you own from outside the game. Put it into your hand. Exile Glittering Wish. That's a cool card. Can't use it in Commander, though, so it's probably not worth anything. Poopies. We'll just call it Poopies. <laughs> It'll be an homage, not a direct attack. <laughs> it's a Poopies. You gotta, you gotta spell it with the Y and the Z, though. Yes, there you go. It's an homage. Of... <laughs> now you're doing it right. <laughs> now you're doing it right. All right. Moving right along. Foil. Foil common. Wah, wah. Poopies. Time shifted palace jailer. This gets played, right? Two white, white, two, two. When it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until the opponent becomes a monarch. Yeah. Any anyone looking for a spicy palace jailer? Yeah. Anybody looking to hire a pot? One dollar. Fail. All right. Fungus Sliver! Freaking hate slivers, man. Taking up all these spots in what should be these sweet packs. 
very poopies. You know what? I've got to I've got to move the the debris. Cuz we can just bury Gandalf in wrappers. There we go. That's where we're going to throw him. We're just going to bury Gandalf in wrappers in this stream. All right, guys, right here. Time shifted. Lingering souls. Lingering souls. Make some 1-1 one, one white critter tokens. Give it flashback. That's fun. Probably not worth a lot, but definitely a sweet card. Good old lingering souls. All right. Another flagstones of Trocare. Let's see something play. Oh wow, they're they're trying to catch up to us. The, the pricing bot is getting in there now. <laughs> they we overloaded them with our awesomeness. Gaia's Anthem. Creatures you control get plus one plus one. In green? I mean maybe there's somebody who wants that because it's green. Should have flash. We overloaded the bot with our poopies. Oh man, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this. Letting you all act like four-year-olds in this chat. Um, discard a card, sacrifice a land, search your library for up to two lands, put them onto the battlefield. I mean, maybe there's a spot where I want this, like an Omnath deck. Vampire Hex Mage. Oh, this card is good. Dude, every commander deck I build with this card, like, ha has this card. Every single commander deck that's black, I play a Vampire Hex Mage. First Strike, 2 1 for 2. Sacrifice it to remove all counters from target permanent. Just kills a Planeswalker. Just straight up murders a Planeswalker. Very cool card. And we get Sappy Eric's Daughter. Green, white, 2-2. Two, two. Human Scout. Sacrifice it. When target creature is put into a graveyard this turn, return that card to the battlefield. So it's another... It's like a selfless savior or something. Okay. It's fine. Eric's Daughter. Yeah, that's it. You, you, got, you got it. You got it. Tara, you get excited about uh, you get excited about paper magic cards, don't you? It's like it's it's more active in this chat than I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, we got a sapperling. Prized amalgam. Oh, dredge fans. Dredge fans. Get up. We got a pro time shifted prize amalgam for $2.50. Ah, nobody. The Dredge fans. Why are they so cheap, man? They just. Because they only buy one deck in their whole life. Acroma's Memorial. Historic legal Acroma's Memorial, guys. That's a popular commander card, right? How much is that one going to be worth? Is that one worth something? Is it, does it have a value? Do I have to look it up? It's a banger? Okay. Chroma's Memorial. $16.49! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Sleeve up, uh, you statue of a lady. No rest, no mercy, no matter what. That could be inscribed on the entrance to the dojo or on Akroma's memorial. Which one do you think is more appropriate for? I know my answer. Ah. <sighs> we go it's foil it's an uncommon 
Celestial Crusader, two white white flash, split second, flying other white creatures get plus one plus one. Kind of interesting. Bajuka Bog. Exile all cards from target player's graveyard, enters the battlefield tap, taps for a black. It's a classic. It's a classic. Probably like five bucks. Maybe two. Vesuvan Shapeshifter. Three blue blue zero zero. Rare. Morph. One in a blue. When it enters the battlefield or is turned face up, you may choose another creature on the battlefield. It becomes a copy of that uh, morph words. Lots of... Ugh, that's a lot of words. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm not reading. Like all of the shapeshifters, I'm not actually going to read it. I don't know most of these cards. Me either. But uh, I've seen some of them like through the years. I don't know all of what's in here. And I know that this is kind of new, but I, it might be fun. We might hit something expensive. Chalice of the Void. Anybody want a Chalice of the Void that's time shifted? There's a battlefield with X counters. The cost is XX. Whenever they cast a spell with mana cost equal to the number of counters on the Void, counter it. It's a classic prison card. Boomer magic indeed. $36.50? What's potentially the most expensive card you could find? A foil... Like, some of the foil time-shifted cards literally don't have a price right now because people want them so bad. $36? For this chalice? Woo! Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could just hit a Black Lotus, guys. Let's be real here. Just... Just boom, Black Lotus, GG. That, that's probably going to happen before the end of the show, really, if we're being honest. All right. Regular Venser. We already got a foil one, so that's a little bit of a meh. Yogmoth, Thran Physician, two black, black, two, four, protection from humans, pay one life, sacrifice another creature, put a minus one, minus one counter on up to one creature, and draw a card, two black, discard a card, proliferate, that's a nice commander card, right? That's a nice card, absolute banger, you say $20, let's confirm, Yogmoth, comma, Trusty10, thank you very much for the tier one. Appreciate you. Dogma, comma. $20. Here, buddy. Trusty, thank you. Oh, I already said that. Thank you again! Gotta save my voice. I'm getting too hyped. Yeah. Yogi. Let's go. Next up. Another Joyra. Don't think I got the blue, the green, white charge land in my pile yet. Okay, that looks cool. Dovin's Veto. That is a sweet shifted frame. I am never casting another Veto in my life. 
We're the only veto for me. Sliver. Name. Poopy's Sliver. Dormant Sliver in foil. Two and a Simic. Two, two. Slivers have Defender. All Slivers have when this permanent enters the battlefield, draw a card. Love it. This is the Sliver that you tech against the other Slivers. You just get this on the battlefield and they can't ever attack you again. It's perfect. It's freaking perfect. What a beautiful card. A Sliver that hoses Slivers. As long as they have no way to kill it in their whole deck. Oh, look at the old school gray merchant art in the time shift. Oh, oh that, that gives me flashbacks, memories. Good old Gary. Life and limb, trash rare, poopies. Poopies, 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 poopies. Pronounce the name of that sorcery with four black pips. Your mom says that this. There you go. Old school cranial plating. Wheel of Fate. Mythic. Suspend one in a red. Each player discards their hand, then draws seven cards. I mean, I guess I can't reprint Wheel of Fortune. But we get Wheel of Fate. Yippee ki -yay, mofo. Poopies, poopies, poopies. I pulled a foil Kiki Jiki. What is that? Like, that was, like, we looked that up. It was like 300 bucks or something. That's. You know, go, go straight buy some lotto. Art of Arazka. I actually didn't own one of these yet. It's a fun little good old Ixalan card. Sarah Avenger. You can't cast this spell during your first, second, or third turn. Flying Vigilance for White White. And it's a 3 3. Not the worst. It's meh. It looks like uh, some people in chat have started posting their sick polls. Go ahead. What's the sickest poll you ever had, chat? I don't even care if it's true. Go ahead. Rip into it. I pulled a dragon from my daily rewards. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, pretty remand. I pulled a hamstring outside of DQ one time. Nice job. Reman's a good one, right? Time Spiral Remastered Reman. Seven dollars. Seven dollars for this beauty. Jaya Ballad. Here we go. Dismember. Which member? Which member, guys? Which one? Dismember. Uh, Nine dollars and twenty-one cents. Right on the edge, guys. Do you think the price is going to go enough? up enough to warrant a sleeve 
Do you think that it's eventually going to be a Hamilton? I think it will. I think we've opened a future Hamilton here. A future member of the Hamilton Club. Porphyry Nodes. This card is freaking weird. One in a white enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, destroy the creature with the least power. It can't be regenerated. If two or more creatures are tied, you choose one of them. When there are no creatures on the battlefield, sacrifice Porphyry Nodes. The original Doom foretold. Awkward as hell. All right, moving right along. <laughs> Gotta stretch. I feel something good. Become immense. Five in a green. Delve. Target creature gets plus six, plus six until end turn. We also have a, a battle rage, so the combo is here. Become immense. And another Greater Gargadon. The Suspend D9-7. All right, all right. I was wrong. I thought I felt something. I didn't feel anything. I'm just making it up now. Or maybe. Maybe it was in the next pack. <laughs> That's me after dinner. Become immense, that's like my head right before a stream. Patinage, thank you very much for the prime. It's foil, it's tendrils of corruption. It's time shifted, it's intangible virtue. Lotus bloom. Hello? Is that a hit? Do people want a lotus bloom? Oh my god, it's black lotus! It's not, though. It's probably not the worst. Guys, I am pleased to let you know this is worth $2.81. That's lame. That's lame. All right. All right. Is it the poopiest card with Lotus in in the name, or is that is Gilded Lotus worth less? I don't know. Next up. Foil Sanger Nosferatu, too. Probably not really any value since it seems like a bit of a bulk rare from the set. Epic Experiment. Blue, red, X. X on the top X. You may cast instant or sorcery spells with converted mech cost X or less without paying their mana cost. Then put all exiled cards this way that weren't cast into your graveyard. Yeah, okay. I guess. I guess. Tomb Stalker. Dell. Six black black five five flyer. Very big time like Gurmog Angler or something. Extra poopies. Got another mystical teachings and a smallpox. I'll keep those. All right. All right. Let's step it up. A foil copy of Boom and Bust. Shiny, shiny, shiny.
that's got to be worth like a billion dollars. How awesome does Itali look in the old frame? I will now start accepting bids. Opening bid is one million dollars. <laughs> Hey, I can still play it. I can still play it in EDH. Krovax, Ascendant Hero, four white, white, mythic, four, four, human noble, other white creatures, plus one, plus one, non white, minus one, minus one, pay two life, return it to owner's hand. Yeah. Okay. It's a card. $100 if you sign your name on the front. Deal. Deal. I'm going to start selling CGB signed cards for the price that they're truly worth. We're not going to give out signatures anymore on this stream. Mirror Entity. Sliver fans, dive in. Let the Mirror Entity time-shifted nonsense begin. Very weird changeling card. Extirpate. One and a black, one black instant, split second, choose a card other than basic land, search its owner's hand library, blah, 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 same name, blah, 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 exile shuffle. Okay. Poopies. All right, guys, we got like four more, five more in this. Five more in this box. Five more in this box. We've had a good box, but the last several haven't been as exciting. So let's let's pick up the hype. Femur Ascendancy. Creatures you control have haste. That is a really fun line of text in Commander. Whenever a four or greater enters the battlefield, you may draw a card. Also fun. Very cool frame. The petroglyphs thingy. Yeah. Have we seen the spoiler card yet? Yep. It is it is a done deal. The greatest spoiler card of my life. It's on my Twitter. Should be the latest tweet. Gathen Raiders. Time shifted Hedron Archive. That looks really cool in the old frame. Like, holy cow. That's my new favorite Hedron, Hedron Archive. I had a foil one too. Reiterate. One red red buyback. Copy an instant or sorcery. You may choose new targets. Eh. Eh. Meh. All right, three left and four left in this box. <laughs> oh man, it's becoming a real mess over there. Containment priest. Wah, wah, wah. Karavak the Merciless. That is, that is an old, expensive legend right there. Didn't even play that in Magic Duels. They do say that they a box of these costs 350 at the moment. Well, we're just straight up ripping them open. 
old school panharmonicon. Oh. Very lovely card. Walk of the Eons. Ten dollars. Oh, Panharmonicon. Let's go. Let's go. Lovely. Guys, Godzilla versus Kong is tomorrow. My boy LK is in the chat. LK is hyped. I'm hyped. Who else is hyped? And watch it at home. From the comfort of the HBO. Elvish Mystic. Classy. Another draining well. Last one of the box. Ready to pile on here? We got a Quizali Pride Mage. And we've got a Heartwood Storyteller. Poopies. I need a Poopies emote. <laughs> I, I, th I think a Poopies emote is required now. All right. Box, box like opened on a hot, like, like a level 10 hype and chilled out for like a long time, but it was a good box. Like if you just joined, you're probably like, he opened Panharmonicon and a lot of poopies. But the truth is, there was a lot of fire in that box. It was just all in the front, all in the front. What was your foil in that box? Let's 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 go back. Let's go back. Panharmonicon and Chalice of the Void and Acroma's Memorial. So we were like killing it on the artifacts. We actually killed it on the artifacts. And the caverns is from the first box. In green, did we get anything really good? Nothing good in green. Like the whole box, nothing good in green. How about in red? How about in red? We got the Itali. I mean, that's the card. But nothing, nothing chase worthy in red. Some of what you're seeing is from the first box, too, if you just joined. In black. Oh, yeah. Dismember. Yogmoth. The Jukabog, Leyline of the Void, Thoughtseize, and Urborg. That's uh that's where attack guys. Check out the black from that box. Check those babies out. Cha-ching, cha-ching. No nothing in blue. Nothing that wasn't there already. And white had the foil uh, ethereal armor. The foil time-shifted ethereal armor. Our first foil time-shifted. All right, next box. Spy with my sorceress spyglass. Something. That frame is sweet though. 
that card banned in Commander? It's banned in Brawl, right? But I don't know about Commander. Another Pact of Negation. What's better than a Pact of Negation? Another Pact of Negation. When it's worth more than $10, we sleeve. I remember this one being 20 Dude, I pitched Pact of Negation to my Force of Will just to do it, man. Just to tilt them. <laughs> Done with them. Dude, I've been Pact of Negationing a lot of people in Historic Brawl this week. It doesn't get old. Angel's Grace Foil. All right. Well, somewhere out there, somewhere out there is uh, one of those modern tendrils deck players. They're going to want this, right? It's a good hit. Let's find out. Mount Bilimanjaro says it's a good hit. Eight Foil. Time Spiral Remastered. $19.38. Get this Pringle into a sleeve, baby. Next up. Zealous Conscripts. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent, untap it. Haste 3 3. Boopies. Another Magus of the Moon. Dude, everything's a mountain. Now till the end of time. I'm keeping the mystical teachings, right? right. Ad nauseum is barely played. Dude, somebody's gonna play it. People don't give up on their modern decks. Just look at the ones who still want Splinter Twin unbanned. Those sad, pathetic souls. Nature's Claim. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Its controller gains four life for one green. That's pretty sweet. Another one! Our second... Urborg of the day. Get in there. We're just drowning in Urborg today. Easy $16. Band in Legacy. <laughs> you look very pretty, though. You're a very pretty time shifted card. <laughs> Hashtag band cards. Magus of the future. If, if you could see the future, you would know this card would have been banned. <laughs> scam. Pack was a scam. Actual scam. You want to see a band card? Let me go get my full art foil Uro that was worth like $300 once. Let me show you that one. <laughs> Molly. Mole Drifter. All right. Okay, ask my wife if I could drop the $100 and no, but here's my bits instead. Well, lack of time, any amount is nice. As you can tell, I invested a decent amount in this stream and content, so any support is helpful and makes it likely to happen more in the future. Thank you for the 55 bits. I appreciate you. Cloud Key. Bow.
50 bucks and if the dread horde was foil guys let's just figure out how to foil cards ourselves that's gonna get me in trouble let's let's forget i said that that's a terrible idea no one should do that ever well if that's not the time shifted card we were all waiting to see Thank you for 100 bits, lack of time. Venser, how much did you get these for? I pre-ordered them. I think I got them for 140 each. I think I, I'd have to look up the receipt, but I think it was 140 each. Ordered them uh, a month before they came out, I think. Sensei is rich. Sensei puts all the money back into streams. Is there a strange smell to your packs? Yeah, now that you mention it, it, uh... Smells kind of poopies. Firemall Kabu. Vanquisher's Banner. Heartwood Thingamabobs. More delay. People want their $1 delay. Okay, we'll just keep that over here. Vanquisher's is over 10. What? No, it's not. That card? Time Spiraling Master, $10! Never mind. Welcome to the Hamilton Club. I was never mean to you. Wait, why do we ban Crunchy, Crunchy, Crunchy? <laughs> LOL. Hi, Crunchy. Where are you taking these prices from? Because they're lower on... Nobody cares! I make up the prices here. <laughs> Redeemed a 10k. Awesome. Ready? Looter thingy. Again! We did it again! Let's go Black Mages! I'm gonna find the thirsty black mages. I'm gonna sell them this my my poles. Another thought seize? seize me, daddy. That's my playset, by the way. I now have four thought seize. That's my thought seize playset for my paper historic gaming. Nice. What, so what was that again? Non-foil, 3868. Beautiful. Another sliver. What I hate about slivers is how many spots they occupy in a set, man. Just everything's a sliver. <laughs> okay. Getting that free ban equity. What a master. A master of his craft, sucking Mets into that free ban. Here you usually have to pay channel points for that privilege. Prismatic Lens, foil. Whoa. Whoa, is that a card? Is that a card? Do people play this card? Hello. Prime time, baby. Let's go. Now that is a green card I can get behind. I really actually want this in historic. That should happen. $12.21, come here. Come here. Get sleeved, baby. We finally have a good green card. It took a while. It took a while, but we got a quality piece of green mana. 
And another Slaughter Pact. Man, can you imagine that pack in Limited? Like a sealed? Here's a Slaughter Pact in a prime time. Uh, speaking of limited, I believe that this week is the return of Nerd Girl and CGB doing limited stuff on her stream at the end of the Thursday stream. So I look forward to that. Those of you who like to watch us play limited together. Molten Rain. One red red sorcery destroy target land if it's not basic two damage to the controller. Gauntlet of Power. Five, Mythic Artifact. When it enters the battlefield, choose a color. Creatures of the chosen color get plus one, plus one. Whenever a basic land is tapped for mana of the chosen color, it gets an additional mana. Is that a card? <gasps> Hamilton Club member coming through. Sir Anarch, thank you very much for that prime. Gauntlet of Might is the one I remember that was red. That's like one of, one of the OGs, like Alpha, right? Gauntlet of Might. Yeah, look up the price for Gauntlet of Might. I bet that's... Bet that's doing okay. They don't make them like that no more. All right, next card. Sylvan Scrying, one in a green. Search your library for a land card. Search your library for a field of the dead. Search your library for a world tree. Next card. Tombstalker. Okay, the black is falling over because we got too many good black cards and in my infinite wisdom the uh, crease in the desk is actually over the black cards. It's just falling over. Bedlam Reveler. What a sweet old school card that is not an Ox of Aganis. Has prowess. Is a 3-4. It's a good card. Probably not a an insanely sought after one though. And another Angel of Salvation. Only seven hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, I could trade like everything I've got here in front of me for a uh, for one card, the Beta Gauntlet of Might. Easy. Oh, look at there, Raven Inspectees. That's nice. That's a nice guy. Old school Thrabes. Another Lotus Bloom. I wish I could be more excited about you, but I looked up your price already today. It's foil. It is Ikor Slick. Target creature gets minus three till end of turn, cycling madness. Evolutionary Leap. Oh, I love this card. I really love this card in Standard and Magic Duels. Probably not worth much, though. Just one of my all-time faves. Another Singer Nosferatu. Get him out! This one is foil ponder. God, every you think every single one is a foil ponder 
Waffle. I guess that's what happens when you are breakfast food that travels across time and space. You have a lot of time to ponder. That is a foil Chalice of the Void. That is a foil time-shifted Chalice of the Void. Oh! Show me, show me, show me the money. Show me the money. It says $49. <laughs> Son of a, why isn't this one jumping through the frick? Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Never mind. That is $255. Don't believe me? Don't believe me? Don't believe me? Don't believe me? There it is. Buy foil on TCG Player. $254.85. Dude. Dude. Get in, get into the sleeve, get into the sleeve. Oh, such an evil card. Oh, yes. Come to my precious. Come to my precious. That's worth like one and a half boxes that I bought. Remember, I got these for 140. It's so pretty. It's mine. It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> the scene transition dampen the sound. Apparently, I have to remember to be quiet when I do that. It's new to me. We're not done. We're not done. Become immense. That's what just happened to me. I got really excited about about that card. Um, became immense. We don't need to go into details. We don't need to go into details. <laughs> Miri the Cursed. Alright, evil cat. Nice. Chat, don't lie. You also became immense. That's why you're here. For the... You're here for the, uh, that experience. <laughs> How is time to plow not a magic card, by the way? Time to plow chairs. All right. We got a foil reiterate. A foil one. A foil rare. I mean, maybe that's $5 or something. No, it still doesn't seem like a great card. Yeah, that is a big hit. Thank you, Peter. Guys, is this not the greatest card in Magic Arena history? They actually errated the card just so it could be played more in Arena. Poopies, but that's okay. We got a long way to go. We got to come down quite a bit from that cloud. Put the pricey card on another pile. Oh yeah, you, you just need this like, like right there. Like we'll just put it up here. It's looking over the rest of them. Like he <laughs> got you, it's got you. Everybody who comes into the stream is gonna be like, ah, uh, where does he live? Wastes. <laughs> Wastes. I... what the... Wastes? Why? Wait, is that good? Why Why are we getting OM, big OMG for that? Does people want wastes? There's no way people want wastes, right? What a waste of a card, okay. Price on wastes. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm Chronicler. Moving right along. E 
Etron players. Etron players. Weirdos. Any foil old boulders? Borders? Look at the top of the screen, Journey. Get out the magnifying glass and get in a Shriek Maw. I actually don't have one of these. All right. All right. The Rada again. Okay. Weight should be 25 cents. Dude, every card should be 25 cents. But some of them have different writing on them from others. And we think that makes it worth something. It's kind of an, a miracle. That is a nice disdainful stroke. Guys. Is that not the nicest stroke you've ever had? I bet you all remember the nicest stroke you ever had. Oh! Oh, hi! That's... Okay, this was a very nice stroke. <laughs> it's just very nice stroke here. Um, hi there. I've never owned one of these before. I don't know what to do. That is a Tarmo Goyf. Which is worth $28. And 70 cents. Come here, buddy. That, that is an immense stroke of luck. Box three is insane. You thought box one and two were crazy. Box three is insane. How you doing, Steph? Always nice to see you. You know, I should just, like, the top of the screen should just be all the, the mega hits, right? The big poggies. What are the big poggies? Guess we should put the Thoughtsies up there. And the Thoughtsies up there. And, uh, yeah, uh, well, well, did we put the Ley Line? We'll, we'll put the Ponder up there. Putting together some furniture. What the heck is going on? Why is everybody building furniture these days, huh? Why is everybody on that? It, it is just that year, man. Everybody building some furniture. Got to redo the inside of our house because we've been locked in it for a million freaking years. Maybe the foil cap chalice. It's right here. It's right there. No sleeve on stroke. Wait, how much is stroke worth? I didn't look it up. I just figured it wasn't worth much. Disdainful stroke. Time shifted disdainful stroke. Guys, 73 cents. Chat wants me to sleeve a 73 cent card. I. Chat wants me to sleeve this. You know what I'm going to do to it? I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to just tear it in half right now. 73 cents? The amount of time you wasted me looking up whether or not to sleeve this whatever blood braid elf has anybody ever read this card 3-2 haste with cascade does it do anything is that is that good it's cascade an ability anybody want a blood braid elf any any jund players out here We can now Blood Braid Elf into our Tarmogoyf. That's that's exciting. $2.99 for a Blood Braid Elf. Man, sometimes pricing is not fair. You should be worth more. Hypergenesis. Another suspend card. I'm guessing that's worth like two to five dollars based on every other suspend card in this set so far.
I swear, all the suspend cards just ain't worth nothing. I was excited about them at first. Crokies wants it. Crokies wants what? Hypergenesis? Or the Bloodbraid Elf? Seems like a Jund player. <laughs> Another Panharmonicon. Our second time shifted $10 Panharmonicon. Let's go. Vesuva. You know, I opened one of these in one of the packs from the list, and I found out it was worth like 30 bucks. Let's see what it's worth now. Vesuva says you may have it enter the battlefield tapped as a copy of any land on the battlefield. $19.12. That's another sleeve. That's another sleeve. Basically, it's a library of Alexandra that enters the battlefield tapped, obviously. Looking good in here, looking good. Guys, this, this box is insane. What is the list? I don't know. Look it up. It just happens that sometimes you open a card that's not even in the set, and some of them are worth money. Uh, thank you for 100 bits, Waffles. Man, we have a few Waffles in the chat. What the hell is going on? Night of the Holy Nimbus. In foil. Classic Mortify. That is definitely the Mortify I'm putting in my Commander decks. That is definitely the one. Another Jaya. I think that's my third Jaya. $400 for a foil ponder from TSR. Yeah. It's like 20 for the normal ones. It's insane. It's absolute madness. It's Magic the Gathering. Whoa. Yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> overflowing chalice, not the same chalice. Well, um, I don't know if anybody even cares about overflowing chalice. I, I don't hear about that one making many decks. Another hive stone. Turn everything into slivers. Meh. Yeah. Have you gone over spoilers? We're not doing spoilers today. I have to open. I, I'm only, I'm not even half done, guys. We're we're like two thirds through box three. I have six boxes of Time Spiral because I do box opening packs just the same way. I do pack opening shows like everybody else does. I just go harder than anyone else. Temporal Isolation in foil. Time shifted treasure cruise. Woo! Another draw three. Oh boy. Uh, another sappy thingy majiggy. Hello, good game. How you doing? Dreamer shout out. I think I saw you earlier, but I don't remember if I said anything. Thank you, Mad Mulatto. Appreciate that. Talran, Sky Summoner. Does anybody want this? Is, is anybody still trying to build sweet Talran Commander decks? It's a pretty cool time-shifted card. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth anything. Vesuvian Shapeshifter. Okay. Notice me, Sensei. Kuntz, I see you. 
You have brought honor to this dojo. Farseek. I remember Farseek actually being a valuable card because of Commander, is that correct? Like five bucks, maybe? Wow, two dollars and eighty-five cents. I'm gonna punch the mic for that one. Straight up punch the microphone. Wow. Actually less than wastes. Strictly a waste. More porphyry nodes. Guys, if we don't get anything else in this box, we 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 already killed it. We already killed it. Tarmogoyf and Chalice of the Void. The foil Chalice of the Void. The $280 Chalice of the Void. <sighs> that is a foil smallpox. That's pretty cool. Leveler. Five colorless mana for a Juggernaut 10-10. When Leveler enters the battlefield, exile all cards from your library. Okay. 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 More petroglyphs. Why are we over here exiling our entire library, guys? I don't get it. Why would we do that? Poopies. Extra poopies. Covert go poopies. All right. Play Stasis Oracle. That's the lame way to do it. Why would you do that when you can just draw your whole library and have a million cards in your hand? It feels so much better. Old school cranial plating. Foil though. Wait, wait, that's a foil. That's another time shifted foil. Wait, what's is that worth something? Almost missed it. It is worth. <gasps> oh, my God, chat. It's worth thirty five dollars. <laughs> Bazinga. Or twenty seven. I, I say 35. Let's go. For now, look, Debbie Downers aren't allowed in this chat. The only thing that's allowed in this chat is extreme hype mode or people making fun of people who refuse to extreme hype mode. Bottom line. All right, moving right along. Exquisite Firecraft. Oh, that's a classic. Or a Poggers. Yeah, we're all. This is a Poggers chat, okay? We get excited about our, our cool cards here. Another Glittering Wish. Remember when I did Flipside Gaming promotion on my YouTube and I yelled, Dragon Shields! That was my favorite ad that I've ever done, I think. Just because I got to yell, Dragon Shields are on sale for $4.99 or whatever it was. I, like, that is some real OG CGB content right there. Dragon Shields! It was like Mega Pog. Slime put the stowaway. There you go. There you go, guys. Time shifted slime. And another reiterate. Let me reiterate that I have many reiterates. I've heard that slime foot EDH is awesome. Really? I mean, wouldn't know. Not my, not my style. You know, you know who should play slime foot EDH? An oozling has spawned. 
Nah, I guess that's more of an ooze thing. Not a slime thing. Alright, let's go. Sigil of the Empty Throne. Still a card a lot of people like. Another Carvec the Merciless. Poopies. I think it's Poopies. Unless that Sigil is somehow worth a lot more than I'd expect. Sigil would have to really surprise me. He's got Panharmonicon. I have two. Two Panharmonicons. Sunlance. Monastery Swift Spear. I bet if that was foil, somebody would want it. Talaria West. Transmute, one blue blue. You can discard this to search your library. A card with converted mana causes zero. Reveal it, put it into your hand. Good old Talaria West. Is that something people look for? Talaria West is Kanye's new daughter. Fog. Too true. Search for a Tormod script. <laughs> right. Oh, I, we got a Jailer. Cards and graveyards lose all abilities? That's okay. Monastery is over $10. Is that true? Nobody put the price in chat and nobody went poggy crazy. How can I know if a card is worth more than $10 if nobody's losing their freaking mind in chat? Like, you guys have a responsibility to this show. You guys have a responsibility to the show. Talaria West, $2.14. Monastery Swift Spear, $8.72. That's not $10. That's not, that's actually not $10. All right. There goes chat with their chat lethal again. Classic chat lethal. Rip it up. I'm thinking about it. It's a red card after all. A, this is our second foil red split card. This one is dead and gone. Time shifted banishing light. Probably the most valuable banishing light ever, but look at how off center it is. That's not even a misprint. That's just the way cards were back then. Look at how off center that card is. Look at the bottom and look at the top. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. It's the true nostalgia experience. Cure Keeper. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Boopies. Well, there's a card. Fipplethib the Lost. Okay, then. Good old Fippy. Fipplethib the Lost. Swarm Yard. Just regenerating insects and squirrels left and right. That might be the poopiest pack in a while, guys. The packs do smell very different. I, I can confirm they do not smell like a cinnamon roll. Hollow one. Somebody probably wants that. Is that worth something? Probably not. It's competitive though, so probably not commander, right? It's probably not that great. I can't complain. I'm not complaining. I literally say how I feel about everything. It's the YouTuber slash streamer curse. It's reacting. I, I have no complaints.
All right, I'm complaining. Why did it, why don't the pack smell better? Why don't the pack smell better? I'm going to just throw a little hissy fit over here. How do they smell? Like poopies. Hold this, Gandalf. What do you think about grilled cheese sandwiches? Poopies. Hate them. I don't eat bread on anything. Anything. This is the worst card I've ever seen in my life. Has any card made me angrier than this card in Magic? Good lord. What the heck is this? A time-shifted Ramen App Ruins. I bet that's also like five bucks. I do like it on the old border, but come on now. Dude, 67 cents. Woo. Okay. Worth what it should be. You should actually have to tear it in half when you sacrifice it. Banish Commander? Okay. Last pack of what has been an insane box. An insane box. Are you gonna sleeve that desert with 67 cent? Are you trying to get me to tear it? You are, aren't you? Yeah, nice. Well, there's another desert. An ancient den. Actually, this isn't a desert. It's an artifact land. Aren't these, like, banned in everything? Aren't these just banned? I don't know. Maybe somebody wants that. Sarah A Avenja. Not banned in Commander. Pogs. All right. Had to be the white one, too. Sage. Man, I need a stretch. We're half done, guys. Actually half done. What do we get that pack? Cranial Plating. Vesuva. Panharmonicon. Gauntlet of Power. Vanquisher's Banner. Then this was, I think, in the box before. In green. Four green. Prime time. We got a prime time. And Tarmogoyf. Don't forget Tarmogoyf. In red. Still, the only good red card is Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. In black, where we are freaking loaded, we got another Yogmoth to go with the other Ur Urborg. We got a Yogmoth, two Urborgs, a Dismember, a Leyline of the Void, a Damnation, and not one, but two copies of Thoughtseize. Holy crap. So many cards. All right, in blue, we got another Pact of Negation. And in white, any good white? We got the Foil Angel of Grace to go with the Time Shifted Ethereal ar Armor, and we did get a Sliver Legion early on. Like, that was one of the first big things we opened. Oh my goodness. The Tarmogoyf and the Chalice, though. That is. That is shining right there. That is nice. All right, guys. Half freaking done. We crossed the halfway point right here.
Not sure how we're gonna beat box three. I mean, the chalice is insane. Like, the chalice carries that box, right? Like, it was a good box, and chalice just puts it over. So we need another huge hit for any other box. Have a chance, man. Just have a chance. We need a big hit. There's no other way to do it. Hold this, Gandalf. We got a foil time bender. Meh. We got another hex mage. And we got another crowfix. All right. Back one. Poopies. We're definitely picking up the pace now. Yeah, I need a hydroblast. That's what I need. <laughs> All right. Another Path of Exile. That's nice. It's a good time-shifted card. And... <laughs> All right. All right. Just taking candy from a baby. Just endless Urborgs. Plus another $16. We're just going to put an Urborg in every single box. Everything is a swamp. Isn't Path to Exile 10? You tell me. You guys have access to that stuff. You guys have a responsibility to look up the price. You've got to earn your keep in this dojo. This is not a free ride. $8.80 is not 10. You fail. All right. Another Bazooka Bog. It's our second one of the time shifted Bazooka Bog. And another Draining Welk. I think that's our fourth Draining Welk. Yeah, baby! Got him! Take three, buddy! Turn one, spike you. That is Magic the Gathering. Another Sedge Sliver. Okay, I'd rather have a Lava Spike than a Sedge Sliver. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, deck. That is a foil time shifted mortify. Probably not the greatest, but let's have a look. Probably the most expensive mortify you can get. Let's see. $22.35 for this mortify. $22. To mortify something, guys. Holy crap. That's freaking sweet. That might be the best white card in a while. That is another time shifted ley line of the void. Grab another sleeve, baby. We're going to have plenty of ley lines to hose those graveyard decks. See ya, kitty. Get out, cat oven. And we still have a rare, and it's Teferi? What? Two blue, 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 flash. Three, four. Creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield have flash. Each opponent can cast spells only at a time they could cast a sorcery. <gasps> what? Teferi lives. I got a new commander, baby. This is so me. Three dollars. What? Whatever. I'll take my three dollar Teferi. You're you're awesome, dude. Don't let anybody tell you different. Teferi as a creature. Hell yeah! Finally, Teferi can be my commander. In commander, not just brawl. 
It's my new commander. It's priceless. That is a foil mystic confluence that has been time shifted. What the hell is this? Three blue, blue instant. Choose three. You may choose the same mode more than once. Counter target spell unless its controller pays three. Return target creature to owner's hand. Draw a card. What the heck is this? I don't know this card. Mystic Confluence. Time Spiral Remastered. Foil. $55! All right. Let's, let's all be chill here. It's a nice new blue card. Nice new blue card for the commander. Oh yeah. It goes right there with the cryptic command, baby. That's nice. Always a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Nitra. Another Tygon Predator. Another Glittering Witch. So is the pile of rappers behind me getting funny in it? But is it funny yet? How many stupid rappers are behind me? That is another dismember. Am I chucking the commons across the room after every pack? The commons are in a pile to my left. They're in a pile to my left. For just express... An, just like the express lane to the dumpster. Is what it is. Sarah Avenger. To the left, to the left. Every crappy card in a box to the left. Uh, I give them away to my friends. I've also donated them to local, like, playgroups, um, clubs when I can find them. If there's, like, magic clubs at school, I'll send them to them. I've got a few I've done that for before. I would have given anything to have a magic club at my school. That's a foil time-shifted return to dust. What is going on? No, it's not time-shifted, right? Nope. It's just a foil version. Never mind. True name Nemesis. A second true name Nemesis. I think I remember that one not being worth a ton, though. That's my second true name Nemesis. Nine bucks. Okay. It's chilling. It's chilling. Aeon Chronicler. Are you evil enough? Dude, that sentence can just stop right there every time. Yes, I'm evil enough. Yes. <clears throat> Saram. That's a that's fun. That says draw a card on it. Bet that's like a fiver. Is that like a fiver? I owned many mind slavers in my day. Summoner's Pact. Another one to go with my prime time. Alright, chat, just start spamming at me if I accidentally put a card that's worth more than $10 in a pile without sleeving it, okay? That's, that's your job. That's your job in the dojo. To stay vigilant. To stay vigilant for your sensei. Penumba Spider. Monkey Boy, thank you for the Prime. Interdimensional Waffle, thank you. It's worth a million dollars. The dismember is worth so much because of the name. There's nothing funnier than saying which member dismember. 
The name is worth, like, that pun is worth $10, which is more than I can say about your screen name, Decipher. Like, it was hard to decipher it. Jeez. All this talk of waffles. I know, right? Oh, Steph, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm hungry. But we gotta go on! It's foil. Pow! Right in the kisser. It's a foil Tarmogoyf. First pick it, even if you don't play it. Cause a, cause a conspiracy. Looking it up, looking it up, looking it up, looking it up. Fifty-six dollars. Come here, buddy. Get in the sleeve. Baby, you get to replace your cousin up here on the top row. Just shining. Oh my gosh, we're having a good box. All right, next up, here's our time shifted card. Got him. This Enthasa is basically an I win the game lock. This goes straight into my Yorian deck. Easy. You can't put a price. You can't put a price on that. Is the foil goif bent? Every foil is bent, dude. Why, why do people keep asking this question? They know. They know. That's another... That's our second Dryad Arbor. That's pretty cool. That's our second Dryad Arbor. Another Harvester of Souls. Another Magus of the Future. Potato. $16 Dryad. Incorrect. $5 Dryad. Incorrect. You must actually, actually learn to read the pricing. It's not foil. Another Lingering Souls. It's our second time shifted Lingering Souls. Maybe we can get a playset together. Another Living End. <clears throat> oh, one of my favorite cards. Probably not worth much. Although I heard this was vintage good. Let's see, paradoxical outcome. Oh yeah, a dollar, but a nice dollar all the same. A nice dollar. Nether trader. Nobody here would ever betray the dojo, right? So you're all nether traders to me. Beast within. More periphery nodes. My periphery node deck is coming along. That's a joke. Restoration Angel. Oh my gosh, you get this Anthrag Tusk? Oh, that's cool, but it's not the right art. Like, what happened to the original Restoration Angel art? This is not the... This is not my Resto art. I would have been... I would have been really excited to see the original Resto art. That was a card I loved in Standard. Flash 3-4, that blink stuff. Yeah, we got the combo with Kiki-Jiki. 
right? My Yorian deck is gonna love that card. We got another Lich Lord. This is our second one of these, which seems like a really fun commander to do sometimes. Rift Bolt in foil. I guess if I'm going to keep a Rift Bolt in my collection, I'll make it that one. Ha! Sad Robot. Why do they call him Sad Robot? Look at that. That's a Sad Robot. That's the classic Sad Robot. Right there. Right there. That is the old Sad Robot. Do not hate on this art. This art was inspired by somebody who won an invitational tournament just to get to be have their likeness put on a card. No hating allowed. And we've got a rare boom and a bust again. Booming and busting all over the place. You're hating on someone's actual face. Another cranial plating. This one is not a foil, so probably not worth $35. Another fungus sliver. Get out. That was the poopiest pack I think I've ever seen. Is that you on a card? I am on the card Sinister Sabotage. Thank you. Well, banned card alert. <laughs> banned card alert. I bet this card had a shot. I bet this I bet this time time spiral frame had a shot before it got banned. <sighs> Awkward. It is pretty. Like that is a very pretty look at a Mystic Sanctuary, isn't it? That is a lovely card. I'll look it up anyway since you guys seem to be uh, starting to chill. Four dollar, four dollar, five dollar. Okay, okay, it's okay. Well, if I use a Mystic Sanctuary in Commander, it will be that one. Another if, another if. Isn't that robot Jens? Yeah, Jens is Jens. I, I actually don't remember. Jens Merkel? I don't know. There's a Mystic Confluence, just a regular version. Another Teleria West. Nice, nice little blue. Jen, Jens Thorin. Okay, thank you. It's been a long time. And that's not one of the names I really remember from Pro Magic either. Hmm. Goman says it's fine in casual elf shock. Okay. Seal of Primordium. Sacrifice it, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Nice. In foil. Another Thrag Tusk. And another Hive Stone. God, just ugh, so many cards. Something, something slivers. So many stupid something, something sliver cards. Oh my gosh. Moving right along. Come on now. Alice Jailer. We opened one of those before. Flagstone's a trocare. That's our third one. We're going to be ready for that flagstone stack if we ever want it. Uh, 
hold this Gandalf. Uh, something, something, blah, blah, suspend something. Common. Another Elvish Mystic. Another Joyra. Pack. The box is cooling down. It was banging. It was an absolutely banging box. It's starting to chill. It's trying to chill a little. Let's see if we can shut that down, though. Let's see if we can step it up again. Back to hype zone. <gasps> Intangible virtue. Acroma, the Angel of Fury. Five red, red, red. Legendary Angel can't be countered. Flying, trample, protection from white and blue. Has fire breathing, morphs for six. Well, like guacamole. This card really wants to hit you, doesn't it? Acroma, Angel of Fury. Is that a commander card that people like? Probably not. It's too expensive, but I don't know. I've been I've been surprised. 92 cents. Okay, okay, okay. Nice and chill here, chat. We are still epically chilled. We are still very, very calm. We are not in the least bit hyped. Another prized amalgam. And another greater Gargadon. That is a foil crows and grip. So if I use the grip, I'm going to use that one. Master of the Pearl Trident. A good old Merfolk Lord. Giving out plus one, plus one, and Island Walk. Somebody out there might still believe in fish. Another stuffy doll. Back to the beginning. First thing we opened was a stuffy doll. Guys, I gotta tell you, my back is hurting. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, but we carry on. We're just, we're over the halfway point. We got two boxes after this, because nobody goes harder on a pack opening stream than CGB. Another mirror entity. So I know some of you, you might be tired. You might be falling asleep. You might say, ah, oh, Honey, five more minutes, then I'll come to dinner. Stick it out, man. I'm here. I'm in pain. I'm fighting. And you're here with me. Because somewhere buried deep in these suckers is some money, baby. We're going to find it. We're going for the big poles. He's of rage. That's how I'm feeling. Oh, another sweet veto. Man, that's pretty. Look how uh, off-centered on the top and bottom it is. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of funny. Uh, not that card again. Life and limb. All right. What's the best card so far? Foil Chalice. They say $280, what they say, what they tell me on the interwebs. Time shifted Feather the Redeemed? Didn't expect to see that one in here. How much are people willing to pay for a special feather? I bet five bucks. A dollar and 32 cents. You have failed this city, Feather. Mingara of 
Corondor. I remember this was... Yeah, we already opened one of those. It's, it's fine. Just fine. Alright, next up. Liliana's Triumph. Not what I expected, either. And another pack to the Titan. Definitely taking a chill. But at any moment. At any second. You could get the out of nowhere like the Tarmogoyf earlier. Six more packs in this box, by the way. That is the loveliest Reclamation Sage I own. More of that card. Why he opens the packs from behind to get right to the goodies and to make sure I don't accidentally reveal them. Another team or ascendancy. If you don't want some of the cards, you can sell them to us or something, but that would be a lot of shipping and stuff. If you're talking about selling them to viewers, no thanks, Coalition Relic. That is a lot of shipping and stuff. My wife might sell some of them though, the more valuable ones. Yeah, selling to viewers sounds pretty sus. But don't worry, they're not going to waste. I'm going to play with a lot of these. Another Archer Varazka. Sudden Spoiling. One black black split second until end of turn. Oh, I remember this. I've already seen that card. I'm at the point where I start forgetting the cards I've already seen. Ugh. There's so many cards. So many cards. How much can you take? Do you play boomer formats? Just commander. Strangling soot. Destroy target creature with toughness three or less, and it has flashback. In foil. Eh. Doesn't sound very good. Knight of the Reliquary. That's a cool card. Historical Eagle. Good way to get your Field of the Dead. Delight Hermit. Oh, I remember this. You recognize that music? Any mega fans? It's the Covert Galore music. I think I love every deck that I've seen with Knight of the Reliquary. Dude, Maverick. Old school Maverick decks. You'd like those. If you haven't played them or seen them yet. One pack after this. For this box. Anger of the Gods. Again. Lotus Bloom. Again. Pretty cool cards. Not gonna lie. Alright, this box is going to bed. Let's see what we find. It's foil! It's a tribal enchantment, a rebel aura. Two and a white enchant creature, enchant creature can't attack or block. That's just weird. Time shifted card. Last one of the box. Young Pyromancer, huh? Walk up. Eons? Yeah. 
All right, let's look through. What did we get? What did we get? No new artifacts. Worth over $10, that is. We got the foil Tarmogoy. We got the foil time-shifted uh, Mystic Confluent. Those are two mega hits. You know, overall, we didn't sleeve that many things in box four, but we got a lot of just like good cards. Like green has a ton of stuff there. The red, the red winner is still Kiki Jiki. We got another Dismember, another Leyline of the Void, another Yogma, another Urborg. Like, we have so many black cards, so many good black rares. Yeah, actually, very chill box. I think, I mean, we still got a lot of our value back from the foil Tarmogoy, from the foil Mystic Confluence. So probably around break even, but very chill box. Oh yeah, we also had the foil time shift in Mortify. That's worth like $22. But yeah, definitely a, a, a break, a little, a little break after the insanity of box three. Here comes box five, guys. That we're entering. We're getting close. We're getting close. The madness of box five. What will it be? How many boxes? We're doing the most epic box opening Twitch has ever seen. Six booster boxes in one sitting. Because we go harder here. We do what everybody else does. We just do it harder. <laughs> All right, box five. Kick it off right, let's go. That is a foil calciform pools. Our second, looks like you need a little brother. Straight to the sleeve. <laughs> Guys, two good red cards. Twinsies. <laughs> Another caverns? No way. No way. All right. So without even hitting foils, Without even hitting foils, guys. That's $15 for the Mirror Breaker. And for the Caverns, that's 30. That's $45 with no foils. $45 pack, zero foils. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Our second brawl of the day. Another Murray. I think we got a lot of Miris. All right. Tomorrow is Commander Day, too. I should have a game tomorrow to go to. Time shifted Tassiger. So I'm going to have to unleash some of the new nonsense upon my foes. Stuffy doll.
Hasker is a beast commander with an infinite mana engine. Yep. Yep. Zela seems to know what's up. Commander stuff. Uh, we got a foil rare sliver. Is that worth? Probably not, because this sliver looks like. I don't know, but some people may really want their foil slivers. Pulmonic sliver. What are you worth in foil? Four dollars and thirty-one cents. Boom. Not the foil rare you're looking for. Solace, thank you for twenty freaking months. Appreciate that. Sanguine bond. We looked this up before. Two dollar. Angel of Grace, our fourth copy. Give me my tendrils of agony, and we are ready to play some modern. That says 26. Where does it say it? Does it say it under foil time spiral? Or does it say it under time spiral remastered, which is what we're opening? That's right. One mana, two one. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice this unless you pay blue. Why is blue getting one mana, two ones with an upkeep cost? But I'll keep it, it's foil. Another ever flowing callus. Callus, callus, callus. <laughs> Our second sliver legion, guys. They are legion. They are legion. Still worth $56. Where are the sliver psychopaths who need this? 50 dollars it's our second one we got another one right there my friends and I chipped in for one of those for my friend's birthday in a few weeks that's so nice of you guys that's really cool. Although you have a friend who plays slivers, I don't know. I don't know if I could handle a friend like that. That is a foil time shifted gray merchant of Asphodel. This might be the most expensive Gary in the land. If I didn't want to draft so badly, this would make me want to open one of my boxes. I'm just I'm just ripping them. How you doing, Sky Bills? Streamer shout out. This has to be the most expensive gray merchant in existence. And the price is, drum roll please, forty dollars. You oh, I guess that says fifty-five. My my page says forty. I'll take the fifty-five. We'll just go with the more expensive one, guys. Leave it up. Fifty-five dollars. The most expensive Gary in the land. Look at that beautiful card. Look at that sexy zombie. We used to have a meme about Gary, a Gary who wrote me a very angry message. Is it still, let's see. Do we still have the Gary pasta or was it Jerry? No, guess not. Maybe it was two hours. God, I wish I could remember it. It's so old now. <laughs> there it is. Gary the Hero, 95% chance of 159 IQ plays on a 5K laptop. Oh, God. I wish I could find that pasta again. Anyway, moving right along with this beautiful pack. Another ethereal armor. Another tomb stalker. 5-5 five, five flying delvey thingy majiggy. Can't argue though about a foil time shifted guard that people actually want. That is a cloud shredder sliver. Flying in haste for all my slivers. I remember you. 
We already opened one of you. Another Dryad Arbor. We're just gonna have a set of Dryad Arbors here in no time. Nexus command. Copper dream. Good one. By the way, one of my favorite commands, if you're bored for even a second, if you're discon if you are dissatisfied with the content, my favorite command in this chat is exclamation point shuffler, which grabs a random piece of feedback from a public forum uh, where people just whine about how rigged the shuffler is. <laughs> Let's see, is it not is it not working? Don't tell me it doesn't work anymore. Oh, there it is. There it is. Took a second, but it's there. Uh, if you if you just want to read the the way the mad the mad wailings of people who are in extreme pain because they really feel that RNG is just this force in the universe designed to destroy their life. That's what the shuffler command is. Another trinket mage. Another restore balance. To be fair, RNG isn't random. Look guys, it's not about how perfectly random or not the shuffler is. People who like complain like people who actually feel it like that hard in their soul and are mad enough that they have to go post about it on the internet and use curse words and accuse conspiracy theories it, it's the fact that those people feel persecuted by the by like the universe itself they they they, they, they really think the world just revolves around making them miserable and it makes them so angry so yeah it's entertaining Manifold key. Another coalition relic. Some very chill packs so far since we opened that Gary. Poopies. Poopies packs. Some of those people have their own YouTube channels. You know, I I try my best to relate out there to the, the common magic player. The one who just suffers from the shuffler day after day. So yeah, I wink and I nod to them when I tell them how fine the shuffler is. Laboratory Maniac. Sarah Avenger. Are you saying the shuffler isn't rigged? Of course it's rigged. Ask anybody who has ever for a second thought it was rigged. Germag Angler, big fish, baby. Rada. Moving right along. Box five is sleepy, guys. Let's see if we can wake everybody up. That is a foil keen sense. Whenever an enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. It's curiosity in green. The heck? Guess I'll keep it around. Maybe there's a, a squirrel that wants to wear it. Consuming Aberration. Yep. Very good commander card. Very, very good commander card. Greater Gargadon. It's 
That's our second remand. Lovely. That's our billionth reiterate. The number of Gargadons is sus. Dude, the Shuffler is rigged. I, I see something that makes no sense to my brain that says it shouldn't be. Therefore, it's rigged. A foil mass of ghouls. Abrupt decay. A time-shifted abrupt decay. That's a NASA. Oh, that one makes me happy. I don't know if it's worth a lot, but I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. $13.30, baby. Let's go. That's a Hamilton. That's a Hamilton. Black continues to rock it. And before I even said anything, Before I even said anything, Black continues to rock at $27.63. Why does that one say $10? Oh, that's abrupt decay. This is damnation number two, $27. That's a pack. Guys, don't forget the foil mass of ghouls. Is this not the blackest pack of all time? Why is Damnation worth so much more than Wrath of God? Name a black card that destroys all creatures for four mana. Now, name a white card. Now, do it again. But name a different card. Oh wait, there's other white cards that do that. There's only one black card that does that. Also, we all know, white, white is for wimpy nerds. White is low-key the color of losers. Black is badass. Everybody knows that. That's just a, that's just a fact. That's strict, factual, factual material. Flickerous. White is, in fact, for weenies. And flagstones of Procair. Yorion will remember that. Yorion's a blue card. Yorion doesn't care. Yorion's fine. Another Swift Spear. Another Tur Keep. Dude, I didn't play any color except black for my first year of playing Magic. Because why would you? Another slime foot. Venelish Commander. Guys, we did it again. Keep them coming. More members of the Hamilton Club. It's good. I need a playset. Good. Abrupt Decay, baby. A staple. Absolute banger.
Nether Trader again. <laughs> Two abrupt decays in this box. After having none in, in the other four. Foil copy of Bewilder. Target creature gets minus three, minus O, oh, and draw a card. Man, same price, I could have a befuddle. Alicia, who smiles at death. Alexa, I'm not talking to you. I was talking to Alicia. Jeez. Another Pact of Negation. The big money foil that we've opened is the Chalice of the Void right here. You can tell if something's foil or not in the time shifted sense because they have a star on them. You can see this star. You can see this star. There's no star on this ponder. We are in box five. We are pushing this endurance test. Opening six boxes, it sounds fun in theory, guys. It's freaking hard work, man. People don't understand what you go through. That's our second Corsair of Crufix, which I love to see. Another angel. Yep, 280 bucks, chillin'. Just chillin'. I'll put it with my foil jeweled lotus later. That is a foil time shifted Sylvan scrying. That is worth. Ladies and gentlemen, the internet says. $46 for this Sylvan Scrying. Bisco, how you doing? How's the boat? Ooh, baby. Silence! Silence Twitch chat. Emote only mode. Solaria West. Hope stream is good. The most epic hack opening stream of all time, man. Strict money. Another Past in Flames. For the Storm players. Another Carvec. The Merciless. All right, Mets, release them. You're no longer my prisoner. A Field of Ruin. Another Petroglyphs. Oh my lord, so many of those. That's another Vanquisher's Banner. We found out last time, much to my surprise, that is a very popular commander card and a $10, a $10 weapon right there. 
Kaiji, thank you so much. LK, thank you for the 100 bits. Your support of the stream encourages me to make future massive unboxing content. Another Joyra. Also, those of you uh, on the mission to stay to the end with me, you're really cool. <laughs> you're really cool. Containment Priest. Cloud Key. Wah, bah, 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 bah. Hoopies. Hoopies pack. How many boxes is this? This is number five. So we're five out of six. Are you going to make some new EDH decks with these? Yes, I will make new EDH decks for gaming tomorrow. But I do have to finish the season in the top 1200 Mythic first before I can play. Lotus Bloom. Boyle. I'm sure there's a time where this would have been a big open. Let's see how much they want for a foil copy. And the answer is $7.00 for a foil lotus bloom. A foil lotus bloom. Rip. Lavinia, Lavinia? Time shifted. Another Magus of the Moon. We, we have opened a playset of Magus of the Moon today, my friends. All the lands will be mountains. Forever and ever. This is Mono Red. Up on Earth, it's refreshing to see the progression in your magic career and content. Love that you're expanding into new territory. Dude, I'm going to do it. We're going to do it big. I'm just throwing wrappers on the floor now. That is a, another Grenzo Dungeon Warden. Venser. Are you allowed to put links here? Go ahead, see what happens. I know that sounds ominous. I don't think I've ever turned off links in my chat. Nobody's given me enough reasons to. But they will. The day will come. The day will come. What is that? Children of Corliss. A common. Sacrifice it. You gain life equal to life you've lost this turn. One mana, one one. I guess I'll keep one around. Might be a fun commander card. Another Eternal Witness. Life and limb. I wanted to share CGB, my own negate proxy mist with World of Warcraft art. Well, I'm kind of busy right now. So you can put links. Don't expect me to look at them. Don't share it with me. Share it with chat. Lazy kid, thank you for the prime. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that they're here and that they jump into chat to talk to the streamer. Streamer's busy. Streamer has a lot of people to entertain. Unless they're like, you know... Some of the folks with like 10 viewers and stuff like that but for the most part you jump into chat to talk to chat say hi to streamer maybe donate a dollar or two if you have it and then talk to chat make friends in chat that's the real twitch experience a foil ancient grudge nice <laughs> sorry oh, no need to be sorry very normal Lighted Woodland. Another Ancestral Vision. I was very disappointed to learn this was not worth that much. Alright guys. We've got about six left in the in box five. 
Box five is closing in. Box five, fire. Independence Day. <laughs> guys, guys are obsessed with ponder, man. Constantly ponder, ponder, ponder. Ponder, ponder, ponder. Crystal shard. Actually, this goes in blue, doesn't it? Because it has a blue mana symbol. Yep. Poopies. Poopies pack. I can't stay till the end. Come on, man. You ain't got that much more to go. Guys, you getting tired? You getting sleepy? You getting bored? You getting exhausted? Think about me, man. I'm fighting through it. I got, I, I'm, I'm here just ripping, flipping Ninja of the Deep Hours, man. I got kids to feed, Jack. Come on. This, is, this isn't a stream for just the average, man. It's a stream for the strong. It's a stream for the strong. Green Seeker in foil. Nice. And Johnny's freaking fried mate, baby. Steggy Sliver. All right. It's been kind of a sleepy, been a sleepy box, hasn't it? We've had the Gray Merchant and the Sylvan Scrying, and those are both really nice cards that help really pay for the box. It's been pretty sleepy overall. No uh, knock you out of bed. Boom! Regular gray merchant. The seven of the 70 cents variety. As opposed to the fifty dot the fifty-five dollar one right there. Exipate. Alright, three to go. Cool kids! What is your profession? What are they supposed to say, Duck? Like from 300, right? But what are they supposed to say? Packs? Yorian, Yorian, Yorian. Okay, okay, okay. Farm, farm, farm. Let's go. Time of need. Safi, Eric's daughter. How does it go from 272 to 55? It's simple. We just make the prices up. There's so few of them and a couple people who want them. Evolutionary Leap. Pact of the Titan. I think I've got five of those. Shuffler must be rigged. The last one for box five. The last one for box five. Chalice. It's not foil. It's not foil. How much is the non-foil one? I think it was still like $30, right? The Lover. 4331. Hi. $36. And 50 cents. $36. And 50 cents. Our third chalice of the day. It's one of which is a time shifted foil worth $280, according to the internet. Mingara. Is in each box 200 question mark. I got them for $130, $139.99 a piece, minus my promo code CGV5. That's it. All right. There's one more to go. Let's uh, look back. We got another chalice, another banner, another gemstone caverns. Some pretty sick pulls for the artifacts. In green, we got Sylvan Scrying. 
and that joins our foil Tarmogoyfs in our prime times. In red, we got a second Kiki Jiki. In black, we unleashed multiple copies of Abrupt Decay and Damnation number two to go with the shiniest gray merchant on the market. Gray merchant of Asphodel, Foil, and Time Shifter. In blue, a Pact of Negation, our third copy. Each one, $20. And we got another Sliver Legion. All right, guys. You've made it so far. Welcome to Last Chance University. That card you've been asking for. That time-shifted foils card of your dreams. The thought seizes, the ponders, the mind blowing time shifted cards. On the largest pack opening stream in Twitch history, this box is your last shot. Let's go. Frickin' slivers, man. I got everyone all hyped up for a summoner's pact and another freaking sliver. That's okay. That's okay. We can take our time. This is fine. This is fine. Alicia, who smiles at death. <laughs> I smile at death like this. Fourth play set of $20 Pact of Negations. Guys, if nothing else, I'm going to make somebody miserable around here. If you play Magic in the Traverse City area, you might get Pacted four times. $20 a pop. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just play Chalice on one, then we'll Pact of Negation everything else. Easy, easy magic. Yeah, thank you for the follows. Remember to hit the follow button if you're enjoying the show. Prodigal Pyromancer. I do box openings pretty rarely, but when I do, we go big. This is, this is box number six, last box of the night. Beast Within. Porphyry Nodes. Pull a fifth pack, to I'll gift five subs. I'll hold you to it. I will hold you to it. Passed in Flames. Restore Balance.
So like 2K on boxes. I, I've said it many times, but I got these for $140 minus another discount because of my promo code CGV5 from Cool Stuff Inc. on pre-order. Open Pongify and I'll sub? I already did! I haven't been looking at the uncommons. That's ice cold. <laughs> All right, fungal sliver. Delay. Somebody told me those are worth a dollar for reasons. All right, now I'm looking for Pongify for a sub. Boom! Boom! What could be finer? A foil, time-shifted, Arcades, the mother foxen strategist. It's gonna be hard to get another foil rare out of this one, or foil mythic, I, I don't know, let's see. How much? It's gotta be the most, it's gotta be the most expensive Arcades in the world. It has to be the most expensive Arcades that there is. Ladies and gentlemen, 77 dollars. Get in there. Oh baby, we're gonna we're, we're gonna have to play a walls deck. What are some of the best walls in the multiverse that I can order? What are some of the best defenders in the land? Mmm. Mmm. Good boy. Good Arcades. Yes. Good Arcades. Another Field of Ruin. Our third one. It's our, like our 15th Petroglyphs, for God's sakes. All right. Ponder. 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 Sorry, not ponder. Um, what am I looking for? Pongify. Pongify is the sub I get. If foil ponder is in sixth pack, I'll give five subs. Wow, that's uh, wow. You're really you're really playing fast and loose with the odds on that one, aren't you? Reman number three. Magus of the Moon number five. Pongify. Pongify? Pongify. Fail. Everything's a mountain. Everything's a mountain. Thrag Tusk. Aeon Chronicler. Pongify. 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 No. Rip. Sage Tusk. Oh, man. That is a foil Drow New Lich Lord, which I do think sounds like a good commander, but I don't know if anybody's actually looking for it. Drow New. Worth 18 cents, 49 cents in the foil version. Big poggies, 49 cents on a foil rare. What do you do with all the bulk? I usually chew it or destroy it for, you know, LOLs. Harvester of Souls. Thalen, the Havenwood. Pong. Yeah. Bye. Failed.
Renzo Dungeon Warden. That's my third one of those. I still have to look at it every time like I've never seen it before. Venser, number four. One of them's foil. Ooh. Okay. Pong. Gif. Fi. Failed. If I hit a Pong, if I supposedly... I get a sub. The things I will do for 250. Next up. Corsair of Crufix number three. Angel of Salvation. Pong. Gith. Fi. Nope. Hard mode, guys. If you cast Pongify on a Godzilla card, you summarize the new movie. Wow. Way to dehype the movie. Eternal Witness. God, I wish that was foil. I just want a foil witness, man. That would be so sweet. I'll gift another 10 if we find another Thoughtseize. Okay. Sure. Life and limb. I, I like people taking bets on these things. All right. Pong. Yeah. Bye. Fail. I mean, it just gives me even more, more opportunities to break even. I'm guys. I'm trying to pay for six boxes of Time Spiral Remastered by streaming this. Like, like the pressure is on. You think the wife is gonna let me buy six? Freaking booster boxes of the next set if I don't break even on this stream. I gotta work, okay? I got I've got kids to feed, Jack. Somewhere someone has kids to feed who gets money from me somehow. <laughs> Disquidious. Thank you very much for the tier one. That helps. <laughs> I got puppies to feed, Jack. Alright. Another Grey Merchant. 70 some cents. For Emmy! Cure Keep, okay. Alright, here we go. Pong. Yeah. Bye. Alright, still a ways to go. We're like half done. Half done with the box. Still digging. Still digging for the knock your socks off card of the final box. He drawn archive. Singer and Esperanto, number four. Pong, yeah, bah. Still missing it. Emmy does Emmy eats rares and mythic rares, it's true. Don't bother her with an uncommon. What a snob. A foil gossamer phantom. An epic experiment. Kinda like this stream. A swarm yard. Still look still just over here regenerating my squirrel, thank you. Pong. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Failed. If CGB doesn't break even, Emmy might be eating pack wrappers. It's true. It's true. No slivers are nice. Slivers are garbage. We've established this. I feed slivers to my cats. Another palace jailer. Another Acroma's memorial. How much was this worth? Acroma's memorial. Sixteen dollar. And fifty center. Fifteen dollar. Sixteen dollar. Pretty. 
That's a sleeve. Pong. Gear. Bye. Leap. Commander. Pong. Go. Five. Do, 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 do. Did we sleeve? We sleeve the Akroma. The memorial. Careful consideration. Can't make it up, guys. Shuffle is not rigged or anything. My fourth chalice, baby. Booyah! Four chalice. Got a play set, baby. Also got a play set of Pact of Negation. Another Mingar. So many Mingars. Pong. Ga. Five. Yogs. It's another Yogs, guys. It's another twenty dollar Yogs. gift five subs if we get a fifth on negation or chalice oh my oh boy really playing with you you're really playing with fire there you're playing with fire right there oil assassinate rakados charm Vesuvian shapeshifter. Pong. Go. Why have you forsaken me, Pongified? I just want that sub. I just want that sub. Containment priest. Cloud key. Pong. Yeah. Bye. If CGV pulls a card in his last pack, I will gift a sub. That is uh, impressive. An impressive commitment. But thank you now, or... <laughs> How many packs to go? Uh, about nine? Or eleven? Something like that. A time-shifted foil, Elesha, who smiles at death. 
Should have said five Aleshas who smile at death. How much do you think that is? That was probably the ponder spot, though. That's probably our last time shifted foily. And the answer is $38. $38. Hey, another red card. Only the second good red card in six boxes. Another Lavinia. Another Expiriate. Bomb. Okay. Liliana's Triumph. Pack of the Titan. What a what a poopy's pack. Pong. Gah. Bye. I like this. Not like this. We're in like the bottom ten. <laughs> Everything is swamps, mother Herboard number four. Play set of a legendary land achieved. Actual play set of a legendary land finished. Actual playset of Urborg. Pong. Yeah. Bye. Moving right along. Dark Withering. Hassiger, the Golden Fang. Of the Titan number six. Wrong packed. Where is the playmat from? Cool stuff, Inc. You would be able to see the logo here. Long. Gith. Bye. Sage. Are you sure? Okay. Okay, we'll move on. Poopy. Poopy's backs. Itali, the primal storm number two. Dino Poggies. Jaya Ballard, the Task Mage, number four. Pong. Gith. Bye.
Where did you get that many boxes? Coolstuffinc.com. Guys, we've got about... Okay, I was off on my previous count. It looks like we got nine left, including this one. Under ten to go. Empty the Wardens in foil. Tygon Predator. Glittering Wish. Is there any way to get a discount buying boxes on CoolStuffInc.com? Yes, you can use the promo code TGV5. Pong. Yeah. That's right. Thank you, Gamin, for the tier one sub. You're damn right. Okay, Mercer, thank you for gifting that sub. Pisa, you can't clip it? Oh, you have to be a sub to clip here. I would change that for you. Maybe someone will gift you a sub, but I think, I don't know, it might be too late now. Anyway. <laughs> LK gifted a sub. Tempest Fox gifting a sub. Oh my gosh, you guys are off. And Gomen gifting a sub to Faiza. See, Faiza! You're a sub now. You can clip. Or at least that should be how it works. As a level 2 hype train for a freaking Pongify, guys. I'm gonna frame this. Let's put it right up here, right next to the, right next to the ponder where it belongs, you know, on a level of epicness. Dozy with five gifted subs. Oh man. Oh, you guys, Scott, Scott James, thank you. Oh yeah, that's how you find hype. All right, let's leave it. Okay, okay guys, let's leave it. You guys, it's not worth. It's not worth that much though, right? Hold on. Hold on. Trip, tripping around. Signed, Covert Go Blue. Three, thirty, twenty-one. One sub. There you go, guys. That's a that's a two hundred dollar pongify, right there. Right there. Now, now it's a billion dollars. Actual priceless. I'm gonna sell this one on my website. <laughs> there will be a clip. Like, you'll have to watch the clip before you can buy it. There you go. There you go. I commemorate the moment. Misspelled Strixhaven, shut up. It was meant to be with a Y. Let's move along. Ethereal Armor. Tomb Soccer. Well, I can't do the Pongify thing anymore. 
even mind stencil. I don't know. Feels empty now without it, right? <laughs> Kazali Pride Maid. Lotus Bloom number four. We need a Pongify emote. We'll see. We'll see. Sports are valid. In foil, but still sucks. Vampire Hex Mage. Get flagstones of Trocare. Add a lotus bloom to the 5x. Uh, that that that's that's up to the person who's gifted them. How many packs left? About what is this? Six more, including this one. True name nemesis number three. I can have protection from everyone. That's me, dude. Cool. Just making sure. Sappy Eric's data. You'll gift a sub for each Pongify. Oh, it's because you want the Pongify back? No, no, it happened, guys. It happened. Let it go. Like, some moments are supposed to live. It'll just be sad if we do the Pongify thing every time now, and nothing happens. All right, guys. Let's, let's put the packs in a little pile here. The final countdown. There we go. Four more, and this one. Foil Heartwood Storyteller. Trinket Mage. What box are we on? This is the last one. Booyah. Booyah. Another. A freaking another Gemstone Cavern. Shuffler is fine. Shuffler is fine. Almost a Hamilton? Dude, Gemstone Caverns is like three Hamiltons. Office TV is rating us with 272. Do we have any brave enough? Do we have any subs brave enough to defend the land from this raid? Get the shark emotes up. Get out the Godzilla emotes. Defend the land. Thank you very much for the raid. You came in at, an, at, a, at a special time after office. You see, we are down to the wire. We have opened six booster boxes of Time Spiral Remastered. And we only have three packs to go, four including this one that I hold in my hand right here and now. So, welcome to the final stretch. Time of need. Wheel of Fate. We had a meme going in the channel that somebody was going to sub if I opened a Pongify. It was amazing how long it took. Are there any cards you're looking for? The, the expensive ones. We are looking for the expensive ones. Bebe. For example, this is a time-shifted foil, Chalice of the Void. 
The internet claims that somewhere there is a lunatic who will pay $280 for this card. Incredible, really. And it's our fourth Chalice of the Void. We've got a playset. here today. We opened a whole playset. Spike him. Three damage to your face, chat. Sedge Sliver. We've also got a few running bets. Um, if we get a fifth Pact of Negation, or if we get a fifth Lotus Bloom or a fifth chalice, uh, someone like chat owes me five gifted subs. So, there's that. And there's just two little booster packs to go. Two left. Two and we're out of here. Two and I'll reveal the absolute mess in my room. Vanguard, that's who it is. Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, number three. Is that Foil Mystic Confluence? It is. It is. We'll go over the big hits. I'm almost done. We'll go back over the, the heavy hitters. Our billion three iterate. Any pun? Any? Zero punk. All right, guys. Four hours, 53 minutes, six boxes. Exciting moments, memes galore. Comes down to one last pack. Now, the last pack, guys. The last pack is never good. Everyone who's ever done an opening stream knows that the last pack is 100% poopies. 100% garbo. But man, there's something about the last chance, isn't there? Row Seekers in foil. <laughs> Let's try that again. Swifty. Guys, rigged. I don't know if any of you have been here for the entire stream, but if you have, you would know that the first rare we opened was Stuffy Doll. Interdimensional Waffle, thank you for gifting a tier one sub. I appreciate that. <laughs> the first card we opened in this massive five hour affair was Stuffy Frickin' Doll. Not a joke. Actual fact. Any po any any pongifies? Don't know why I have to look now. I'm always looking for the pongify. That's it, guys. Let's go over the heavy hitters. Dangar, thank you for the gifted subs. Five gifted subs. You didn't have to do that, of course. We did not open what you said I needed to. But thank you. Chalice of the Void. Acroma's Memorial. Another Gemstone Caverns. Another Chalice of the Void. 
another Vanquisher's, a Vanquisher's Banner, another Gemstone Caverns, another Acroma's Memorial, another Chalice of the Void, Panharmonicon, Vanquisher's Banner, Gauntlet of Power, Panharmonicon, Vesuva, Foil Time Shifted Cranial Plating. There's the artifacts. Oh yeah. Well, we'll get to that. In green. Foil and regular Tarmogoyf. And big old prime time. In red. Kiki Jiki, Mirror Breaker. Trifecta. In black. Oh, what a black it was. Abrupt Decay 2X. Which member? Dismember and Dismember. Tempest Box, thanks for gifting that sub to App for Office TV, and thanks for the raid again, dude. Ley Lines of the Void. Thanks for the sub. Hello, good game. Thank you for the actually the gifted sub from Tempest Box. Four copies of Urborg, the Tomb of Yogmoth. Two Yogmoth, Grand Physician, and two Damnation. Damn, Sony, these are six boxes. I don't know if that makes a difference in your evaluation. But we go hard when we do this. Four copies of Pact of Negation and a foil copy of Venser, Shaper Savant. In white, Time Shifted Ethereal Armor, foil. Time Shifted, or a foil, not Time Shifted, Angel's Grace. Time shifted foil mortify. Two sliver legion. To the top row. The meme of the show. We open the Pongify. The subs were acquired. It has been signed. Maybe I'll put it up for sale somewhere someday. <laughs> It will live in infamy in Twitch clips. Ponder. Not foil. Still a heck of a chase. Foil. Gray Merchant of Asphodel. Time shifted. Probably the most expensive gray merchant in the world. Two time shifted thought seizes. Making a full playset with the other ones that I have. I'm ready for some historic in paper, boys and girls. Foil. Mana Confluence. Time shifted as well. 50 some dollars. Foil. Time shifted. Alesha, who smiles at death. Forty some dollar. Foil time shifted. Arcades the strategist. Seventy. He made zero dollars. They aren't sold yet. I've got some news for you. I'm streaming. I made more than zero dollars just getting a Pongify, bro. Farmed. 
Sylvan Scrying, foil and time shifted, about $50 value. <laughs> and the Chalice, potentially $280. baby ladies and gentlemen this stream was shot entirely or at least this part down here on my iPhone which filled in because my camera got broken literally 10 minutes before I went live as I fired the stream up I knocked over the stand and the camera and broke it so give it up for the iPhone let's uh, give you a room tour Surveil the desolation. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, you guys. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I got some work to do. I got some clean up to do. Uh. So, we've come to the end. Thank you for watching this show. I hope you enjoyed my efforts to do one of the more epic box opening extravaganza streams in the land. I do the same thing everybody else does, guys. I just go harder. So I hope you had fun. And now, we end the show as we always do. It's time to take that ride. That last ride of the day. You know the one. <laughs>